Hey, hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Push to Reject, episode number 22. 22! Oh, man! Our continuing look at a uh, bunch of weird games from uh, the year 1983. We're going all the way through... Uh, we're going in uh, chronological order, and we've been in 1983 for a while. Then we're gonna we're gonna be here for like at least a few more streams, I think. At least. It's been a uh, it has been an interesting journey. Yo, I asked. Thank you for the thank you for the quarter. I don't think I whoa missed anything else. Green herring, thank you for the 100 bits. There's no scam train or nothing going on, as far as I can tell. Um, hold on, that's a little loud. There we go. Uh, yeah. Um, we got a, we got an interesting selection of games tonight. Yeah, nothing as bad as picking. <laughs> I can guarantee you that every game tonight's better than picking. Uh, probably. Um, uh, what else did I want to, uh, uh what else did I want to mention before I start? Oh, yeah, I, uh, if you've been watching the other streams here on uh, on twitch.tv slash lordbbh, uh, I've been doing a lot of uh, uh, score attempts on games for the, uh, the, the blah blah blah. I can't speak. The La Calice Cup 8 tournament. It's a it's mostly a, a shmup tournament. It's like 10 different games. It's like 7 or 8 shmups and 2 other games or something. And uh, I ended up getting like a couple new uh, 1ccs in the past week. Uh, thing is, I didn't I didn't mark the streams like specifically as one CC BBH streams because I just felt like uh, I felt like doing score attempts on those games and it's like yeah if I get the if I get the one CC or the the one loop clear on these games and uh, I'm just gonna count it for one CC BBH because I did it live on stream and so that's that's good enough so I did get uh, uh, back on Wednesday I got a I got a one loop clear on Strikers 1945 and yesterday I got a one loop clear on everybody's favorite Scrambled Spirits. A game that'll probably probably be covered in this series because nobody gives a shit about that that awful game. Well, maybe it's not awful, but it's uh, it's pretty fucking jank. But anyway, I got a couple new clears. They're on YouTube if you haven't seen them. Uh, add added those to the uh, the one CC BBH playlist because, like I said, one uh, CC BBH used to be a uh, a thing that happened here every Monday. Or every other Monday, I should say. It started every Monday and then became every other Monday. And then I kind of had to I had to retire... Not really retire it, but... Uh, just sort of, like, not make it a bi-weekly thing anymore, because it was getting to be... It was getting to be too much to, uh, like, have to lab up a bunch of games, like, every every couple weeks. And it was... It was stressing me out, like, just a little bit. So... So now, like, new 1CCs just kind of... Just kind of happen when I, when I feel like... Uh, going for them. I'm still I'm still trying to pick up and learn new games, but just kind of doing it at my own leisure. Yeah, I did end up getting it. I almost threw it away at the end, but I, uh, I got the clear. Thank God. <laughs> like I said, Scramble Spirits is not a very not a very popular game for 1CCs. There was, like, very few very few clears of it on, on YouTube, so... I'm happy to throw a, a one loop one onto the the tiny tiny pile. Anyway, uh, let's get back to the actual topic at hand. Uh, weird arcade games from 1983. Uh, as usual, uh, some people might uh, might argue that uh, uh, if a certain game gets included, they'll be like, "Oh, I've I've heard of this. I played this. I played this port on the." Uh, on the Commodore 64 or the Amiga or whatever, and so I've had to, uh, uh, you know, had to consider uh, like the the scope of Push to Reject, and I think the uh, the scope of Push to Reject is that, or the way I'm approaching it is that uh, I, I've lived in the United States all my life, so most of uh, most of what I want to cover in this in this series are games that you know were not. Not popular in in the English speaking world, U.S. Europe. Um, I mean, some some stuff might be uh, might have been like Japan only, but you know sometimes those Japanese only games they uh, 
Uh, they kind of they kind of see a a new a new resurgence thanks to emulation and ports. But if it's not a game that like people like associate with arcades, then uh, that's those are the games I aim for on this series. And sometimes you know people are gonna oh I I saw on Wikipedia this was like the second most popular. Some magazine says it was the second most popular game of the week or whatever, and I, I don't fucking care. <laughs> if if it's a game that like if you if you mention the name to to a random person and they just stare at you blankly, uh, it's probably game for the series. That being said, <laughs> uh, let's start with uh, uh, let's start with a game from Konami. A lot of Konami stuff was well known. A lot of, a lot of uh, Konami put out a lot of hits, but I feel like, uh, I feel like this game, uh, I've never seen a cabinet of it. Um, I know it got, I know it got a couple ports, so people are gonna claim it's. Uh, oh, I, I've, I've heard of this. I've played this. Wow, uh, Orange, right? Thank you for the 22 months. We are gonna start with, uh, with Rock and Rope. 1983 Konami. Now, Juno First, I think, was kind of, kind of successful. Kind of. At least, at least some people have seen it. Yeah, I, I played Lemmings and Mamerlet. <laughs> but yeah, I know that this got, like, a port to the, like, Atari 2600. It, uh, it was ported to, like, something else, but... The actual arcade cabinet of this, I feel, is like kind of rare. It uh, it did get a kit release in the U.S., but um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how many people have actually seen one. You saw a cocktail cab of this? Okay. There was. It it might not be like the absolute the absolute rarest of the rare, but I feel like it's not. Uh, not really brought up that much in, in regards to like a lot of uh, a lot of Konami games or Kajonami as their their logo was their logo looked like but yeah they did make a it did come out in the US it got a conversion kit I think it was like primarily sold as a conversion kit and not like a, a dedicated cabinet so maybe that's why uh, there aren't many cabinets of it because then those might have gotten gotten converted of to, to something else or something that's that's a shitty flyer <laughs> oh that's just the same thing okay except it's in English now that's right you played this at Galloping Ghost and hated it oh no so this is a uh, single screen platformer uh, Donkey Kong style your objective is to reach the top of the screen and catch the uh, catch the rock, the bird of fortune, within a given time, overcoming numerous difficulties. So you've got uh, you've got two buttons. Uh, one button fires a uh, fires a grappling hook out at a kind of steep angle, not quite not quite 45 degrees. It's like a 60 degree angle, I guess. And the other button is like a a flashlight, which blinds enemies. By using the flash upon enemy's eyes, player can shake the enemy off the rope and paralyze the enemy on the cliff for a while. When he picks up a gold egg, player gets powered and sped up and can destroy the enemy by clashing for a certain while. Etc. Etc. So yeah, this this might not be the absolute rarest, but um, I feel like not many not many cabinets like really survived of this. So I feel like it's fair game. But feel free to feel free to light me up in the YouTube comments and call me a narcissist and stuff like that. <laughs> Oops, I'm laughing at my own jokes again. Anyway, rock and rope. Not to be confused with the rock and roller. H H H H H H H H H H H H. Please deposit coin and press start button. Hmm, the volume's like. Yoko loses. You know, it's one of those games with like a weird, a weird audio filter. 
Because, like, right now it's, uh... The audio levels are, like, bugging out in OBS. But it seems, it seems kind of low. Uh, Cuba, thank you for the 71 months. Thank you for the resub. There goes the scam train. Maybe that's kind of loud. All right, well, let me know if, like, the game audio is too loud or whatever. X17, thank you for the 100 bits. It's kind of got boggy energy. Kind of. The Ultimo, thank you for the 61 months. Much appreciated. First bonus F first bonus after twenty thousand and bonus after every sixty thousand. Not a great font you got going there, Konami. Yeah, the demo didn't die immediately. What was uh There's some like yeah, the picking demo didn't do anything. Okay, so you can fire a rope out. Okay. I'm gonna drop down there. I think there is fall damage in this game, of course. <laughs> Oh shit, I'm bongo colored. Alright. Don't have to pick up the items, but they're bonus points, so why not? The egg on the left, that's what gives you the invincibility. So yeah, uh, John Rock and Rope can't jump, but he can. Uh, he can climb. Uh, can I even. Okay, I'm... I don't think I'm gonna get that. Like I think if I drop there, I'm gonna I'm gonna take fall damage. Take that. All right, let's just get up there. There we go. Whee! I didn't think this plan through. Okay. Sometimes the, the rope gets cancelled. Ah, ouch! Okay. Oh, the cavemen are jumping. So I think starting on this stage they'll they'll try to they'll try to climb the rope themselves, and if they if they do that, they shake you off. And you just fall instantly, and that can uh, uh, that can cause death because like I said, you don't uh oh 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 okay. Stay away from my rope. Proud, thank you for the for the 15 months. Much appreciated. Oh god. So if I if I climb down that stalactite, like I think you can actually Oh god. You can actually survive the fall. Okay, that pterodactyl's actually drop Oh! That's what happens with the rocks, okay. <laughs> yeah, I know this got ports, but I don't think that many people have seen the arcade version. Slide at me. Okay. Um, we need to go this way. Uh-oh. Uh, can I get up there? Okay. Oops. Climbing's a little goofy sometimes. Okay. Is it easier to go this way? I got a bone bus. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, he shook the rope. He shook the rope. Yeah, I'm not very good at this game. I gotta at least clear a loop of this. Uh oh, don't, don't recover on me. Okay, maybe I should just ignore the eggs and try to get to the top while... Oh no, they just, uh... They go in the cave and they, they come back out at a higher altitude. Okay. I see. There we go. Alright, 
stage three. And we got a we got a Castlevania clock tower windmill. And Donkey Kong elevator. Alright, uh ooh. Are these guys gonna climb up here? I'm waiting to get this egg. I don't even know how this works. <laughs> now this really is Donkey Kong now. Fucking wild barrels. Ooh, gotta get a triple kill here. Urgh. They're dead. Oh, oh god, oh god. This is scary. Uh, oh, I, I made a mistake. I've made a mistake. I can't jump. <laughs> you could just walk across it, but no. The fucking jump kick. He jumped over my flashlight. That's some funky game over music. You don't even get to put in your initials. This is 1983. Like I know, I know Scramble. Like, you know, that was maybe Konami's first game that had a high score list, but it didn't didn't have initials. But by 1983, you think that would be uh, that'd be more commonplace. Try that again. Yeah, at least that credit lasted a decent amount of time, although... Um, uh, I have played this before, but not... Uh, okay, I can survive that. Uh, I've never been all that good at it. Oh yeah, the the flashlight kills when you're when you're bongo colored, but you get less points. Okay. Get that edge. There we go. Blind them all. What's up, friend, dude? Gotta at least clear a loop of this. Wasn't sure if this was obscure enough. Okay, well you've played it on the DS, but have you played the arcade version? Have you actually seen the game in an arcade? That's what it comes down to. I know there's games that have gotten ports, but even then, like this is still not a game that like really really comes up into conversation much about like Konami arcade games, so people will usually talk about you know, Scramble, Frogger, TMNT, Simpsons, X-Men, etc., etc. Shit, I didn't get the, uh, the kill on this guy. Where is this rock going? Fuck! <laughs> Those cursed main multicaps don't count. Those cursed 16 ones where they just stripped all the, the copyright info out. Which, uh, uh, there'll be definitely be one game tonight that's probably, probably the only time people have seen that. the rope! He shook the rope. I 
I mean, again, have you seen... I, I don't care about home ports. Have you seen the arcade version of Mikey? Have you actually come across a Mikey cabinet in the wild? Can you find a Mikey cabinet today? Is Mikey considered like one of the uh, the Konami classics? <laughs> so I think I think yeah I think Mikey qualifies in in that regard. So that's a lot of my that's a lot of my basis for choosing these. Outside of Galloping Ghost. Gotta get that bonus. No! Ah. Okay, one more try. How was that? How was that so much lower? I guess I didn't get as many uh, as many kills when I was invincible. I got like ten thousand from one of them. Right, one more try. Oh, wait. No, that was 500. I thought that said 5,000. Okay. So you also get less for blinding them first, then running into them when you're invincible. That's kind of whack. at his own jokes. I hate this guy. I'm gonna watch all his videos. Whoa, why did he... Why was he facing up? Oh! I... I was trying to do, like, a, a half climb, not the, uh... Not full climb. I guess it's not a thing. Huh? How did he not land? Okay, I'm just gonna reset. <laughs> Man, I'm bad at this. I wanted to at least get through one loop. I'm afraid I did not practice this. It definitely... It takes some getting used to, not having a... Not having any sort of a jump button. Your only defense being... You can fire a rope and you can, you can blindfold people. And blinding them is good, because, you know, they're not... They can't hurt you anymore. Yeah, okay, so, th so this game's kind of on the edge between obscure and, and known. But I feel like this game didn't really have much arcade penetration. Eh, penetration. So... I feel like that's good enough. Oh god. No! I got fucking teabagged. This is a good death animation. Okay, maybe I shouldn't, uh... Uh, maybe I shouldn't go for that... That feather? Whatever it is down there. Wait for these guys to come up. I'm just trying to get points for a bonus life. That's what makes the game so tricky, is that like, yeah, you try to you try to pick and choose your moments, but the fact that you don't really have like much much defense when you get to, when you get swarmed. Or it, it takes so long to climb across the rope and then they uh uh, they get on the rope and shake you off. It's only happened to me once so far, but it feels like it happens a lot in this game. Okay, I'm gonna wait for these guys to come up. They at least start doing that goofy kicking animation before they they go up, so there's there's like at least a tell, that's fair. Oh, fuck. I 
can't... Okay, I need to, like, drop down here. There we go. Whoa! That guy just fell down. Nice. If you stop moving when they shake it, you don't fall off? Oh, okay. Uh-oh. Take a bath, idiot. Oh, well. I had to move. Uh, this is not a great situation. Shot him with the rope. That was sick. If you get ri or if you get rid of the rope, it just it just kills them instantly. Because they were climbing it. Now I can't climb it. No. Hey, there we go. Woo! I actually did a loop. And off he goes. Goodbye, John Rock and Rope. Kick me in the face. Not really sure about the enemy's AI. They just kind of, they just kind of do whatever. I had to stop. If I, well, I guess I could have kept going. I would have survived that fall. I tried out the thing, you know, stop, uh, stop climbing the rope, but uh, I got hit by a rock. <laughs> The rocks are a nuisance. How did that miss? Okay, well, I'm not very good at this game. But it's it's interesting for what it is. Why does he have to keep turning his flashlight off? Just leave it on. He would have landed right into it if it didn't keep going off, but I guess that wouldn't make the game too easy. Damn, that's a lot of memes. Well played. Alright, well, well, more people have actually seen a cabinet of this than, than I expected. But I would wager, like, a lot of those, like, you maybe only saw it once. Oh yeah, the demo shows how you just, like, stay still. Hey, the demo actually, like, teaches you stuff. How about that? Uh, what I was gonna say is, like, I figure a lot of people only saw it, like, once, and then, like, never again. But, again, maybe not, maybe not the most obscure. But I feel like it's, it's one that doesn't really, doesn't really come up in the conversation much about, uh, Konami games, Konami arcade games. So... Cause yeah, I think I don't I don't think I've ever like to this day like even seen a cab at like like conventions or anything like that. Grinkers didn't have one. Maybe I just I just went to the wrong places. I don't know. I know it got ports. I know it got home ports. I'm I'm, I'm familiar with that. <laughs> I know that. But I'm talking about the arcade cabinet. Anyway. Uh, we gotta, we gotta do our thing. We gotta, we gotta rate this game. I will, I will start a, I will start a Twitch poll. And we will, what the hell? Sorry, I got distracted by something. Um, give us a, a vote on a scale of one to five bongos. We'll have chat give a rating, and then and then I'll give a rating. Sound good? Sounds good. 
So the polls in chat. Go vote now. I'm definitely not giving this a five. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. Yeah, maybe polls work on mobile now. Like I was, uh, like it was working for some people last week, but it wasn't working for others. Like I don't know if uh, just the update hadn't been pushed out for some people. I don't know. Uh, I haven't like. I should try to I should try to load up the stream on my phone and see if I can if I can see the poll. Uh, maybe on the next one. Cause I don't think I've been in a I don't think I've been in a stream on mobile where the uh, where there was a poll in chat. All right, I'll do that in the next one. Anyway, fifty nine percent gave it a four. Twenty four percent gave it a three. And a few fives. Some people really like this game. Four's pretty good. Uh, do I do I like it enough to give it a four though? I'm not sure. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I, I find this game kind of frustrating at times. There's a lot of a lot of shit you gotta keep track of. There's those stupid-ass rocks that are falling on you all the time. Mm, I don't know. I've never been. I've never been a big fan of this game. So it is perfectly playable once you get used to how the uh, the whole rope mechanic works. And I respect it for that. But I'm afraid I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to go a little lower. But I I respect those that that, that gave it a four. Damn, what a hater! Yeah. This guy doesn't like anything. Boo, boo this man. But yeah, it's it's all right. I'm just not a. I'm just not a big fan. It does feel like it gets really unfair. <laughs> and honestly, what I think it comes down to is that I don't know if I find it that much fun. Because it's just very, uh, uh, very... a little slow, kind of methodical. Who does the methodical pace benefit, King? I don't know. Why am I trying to justify it? I gave it a three. It is what it is. <laughs> I'm going to leave it at that. Some people just like shooting their ropes. And like I said, I don't... Uh, I don't necessarily pe think people are off their rockers if they give it a 4 or 5, but... Game shouldn't have been in this series anyway. It's too popular. It got home ports. Boo! Fuck this guy. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> All right, so we have uh, uh, we have this this one game that uh, there's actually two different versions of it, and I guess we're just gonna we're just gonna count the two versions together because it's very unclear as to why there's two versions of this game. Uh, which one, which one came out first? I think I have an idea which one came out first, but, uh, this doesn't seem to be, like, really well documented. So, we're just gonna take a stab at it. Going back to, uh, our good friends at Nichibatsu. Nihon Busan. They released a game that's not a space shooter. They got their... Their first claim to fame in the 80s was stuff like uh, Moon Cresta and Moon Shuttle and and other such space shooters, but uh, instead, <laughs> they released uh, uh, one of the best flyers I've ever seen. The Ultimo, thank you for the 250 bits. Dasholer! 
Dachale? I have no idea how to pronounce this. An ostrich. What an adventure! <laughs> they released a uh, they released a few flyers uh, putting some ladies in uh, weird outfits, and I wonder how many shirts they printed up of the uh, <laughs> of the game logo. Watch out for the water sprite. Kick and jump with its strong legs. Big jumble with the jungle animals. Quick dash. Make way for the mischievous ostrich. Yeah, she's wearing like orange pants. <laughs> this is this is early eighties as fuck. Yeah, just just post on Twitter. I'd like to have that on a shirt, and then like five bots will reply to you selling the shirts for like fifty bucks or whatever. So we'll look at the other version later, but yeah, I think I think this was I think this was the original version, and. Uh, there's something weird about this with with Mame. I don't, I don't know why they chose this for the uh, the default settings. But let me uh, let me present to you what happens if you load this game up in Mame for like the first time. There he is. So the the ostrich. Oh, hold on, I. I minimized the window. The game froze up for a second. Hold on. Turtles turn into soccer balls, and you kick them into rats. That makes sense, right? <laughs> yeah, just like real life. Based on a true story. Ah. Is the game audio too high? Well, that was a good demo. The demo didn't show me anything. So. So here's here's what might happen if you were if you were to play this game for the first time. All right, scene one. Oh shit, I'm an ostrich. I can kick soccer balls. Okay, let me... Oh, the soccer ball kills you. Okay. Game over. For whatever reason in MAME, this is set to one life. And that doesn't seem right at all. Like, I can't imagine... I can't imagine this being like the proper default that you would set in like a Japanese arcade. That you're gonna <laughs> you're gonna pay a hundred yen and then die in one one life or die from one hit and then it's just game over. But for whatever reason, that's been the default setting in Mame for pretty much as long as it's been there. I don't know if there's like a if there's a manual scan that says yeah you should set this game to one life, but that's no <laughs> no. Yeah, maybe they said it like that for T20. Just like, uh... Uh, Destroyer from Jail. Anyway. Yeah, the eggs turn into mice. So, unfortunately, you can get killed by your own soccer ball. Soccer, soccer balls are well known for being deadly to ostriches. And rats. Oh, God, it got me in the butt. Yeah, the soccer balls are turtles. So they, they move around sometimes. <clears throat> it's kind of hard to kick them. Give me the worm! Also, a mole shows up sometimes. Uh... Oh, the hole kills you! Of course. What a good game. Hmm. Well, I cleared one stage. Ooh, double kill! Wait, I didn't get any points for that? Also, now rabbits are trying to kill ostriches?
Why is everybody out to kill this ostrich? Ah, the water sprite! Well, <laughs> that was not a very good credit. Okay, hold on. I'm reading the um, <laughs> I'm reading the the maim testers bug. Maybe it must be three lives and not one. It might be, but if there's no manual to back up claims, there isn't much point in changing it. Personal opinion only, though. But who in their right mind would think this is supposed to be a one life game? Considering like there's extra lives, like you can get extra lives, so it would imply that like you're you're meant to have more than one to start. Anyway, try this one more time because that was not very good. Can you kick the ball at other angles? No, this is a four-way game only. Ooh. Hey, speed run. Unfortunately, there's no diagonal movement in this game. Okay, so you only get 50 points if you kill the eggs, but you get way more for killing the animals normally. Uh, I don't know what message that's sending. Ooh. Don't really have much time before the, the water sprite shows up. Oh man, the balls bounce. It's like, uh, it's like eggs. There we go. Scene three. Well, now we're killing ducks. Also, if you walk on the water, you instantly die, of course. Uh-oh. The mole just, uh, dug a hole. That's gonna murder me. Oh, oh, it goes away. Okay. Oh, God. <clears throat> yeah, Uncle Pooh had eight-way movement. Can you believe that? What is this? Oh, monkeys. Some are wearing pants, some... Oh, my God! They're wearing shirts. Or no, they're wearing overalls. Oh my god! Bruh. The fact that you can get killed by your own ball is pretty rough. How did I miss both of them? Yeah, we all we all know apes came from eggs. That's just uh, that's science. Well, no. Also, once you start moving in one direction, you can't really you can't really stop. I tied the fourth place score. It's not very good. I like I like the logo with the the ostrich coming out of the O. Hey guys, I'm weak as fuck. <laughs> I haven't even seen the the potion. I kind of want to see if I can get farther, but I have a another version to look at. One more try. They really want you to get big combo kills on the, the animals. I don't like that they don't give you much time to react to the, the water sprite jumping out of the, the water, but I guess you just have to, like... You have to kind of keep track of where he is, I guess. Uh, uh, you're being chased. Ah, fuck! 
Why can't I just kick him? Oh, he sped up. He went into rage mode. Alright. He can't run forever. Oh, there's a book! There's a Bible over there. What? Ah, I wanted to see what it did. They didn't give me time to get it. There was a hole in the way. Alright, never mind. <laughs> Done with this. Anyway, there's... There's a second version of this game that's like... It's not treated as like a clone ROM set. It's actually like its own uh, its own unique version, even though it's... It's a very similar game. Did I not save the... I guess I didn't. Hold on. I saved it to the wrong directory. Where the fuck did I put it? That's not it. <laughs> yeah, you're not 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 putting that weak ass ostrich on the ark. Hold on, we got to do a quick clip. I could have sworn I had this. Oh, I put it there. I put it in the. Okay. That'll explain it. Anyway, the second version of this called uh, just called Kick Boy. Where our uh, our ostrich friend has been replaced by uh, by Dennis the Menace or something. Um, it's essentially the same game, for the most part. There's like a there's a bonus stage though if you look at the flyer. Yeah, this is one of the comics uh, Chubo looks at on his streams. <laughs> yeah, that mouse has butt cheeks. Anyway, it seems like this version, like, came out after Dash Oler, but I'm not 100% sure about that. But here's the thing. I, I made sure to, like, delete the configuration file just to make sure I was on the, uh, the proper default settings. This game is set to five lives, not three. Oh, God, look at... He's got a gut... I don't think he has the same charm as the ostrich. Kick boy. So the the background's a lot drab, but instead of a instead of a water sprite, you have a boat coming through, so you can actually you can actually kind of see the boat. So you actually have proper warning before the uh, the bridges come up. Bonk. Same music. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to kick myself with the ball. Hey, it doesn't kill you in this game. How about that? And the balls are just balls. They're not, uh, uh, turtles. Also, it looks like I'm, I'm killing Scooby-Doo. They have a very... Their vertical movement is very cursed. Get the key. I don't know what it does, but get it. Oh, he speeds up. Hey, cool. So this already feels like a, a little more playable, just just by default of having... of not being killed by, uh, by your own balls. Oh, we got ostriches. So the enemies are completely different. Yeah, everybody wants to kill Scrappy-Doo. Damn, you can get sick combos with the balls, too. So I feel like... Oh, shit! On the stage! Uh... What? Ah! Like, the fact that they added a bonus stage makes me think this version came out later. They've got the mice that were in Dashaler. So it's weird. I I feel like this version plays a lot better, 
but it's not as charming, or whatever that's worth. Oh, we still got the monkeys. Except they're all just wearing shirts. They took away the pants and the uh, the overalls. Uh-oh. 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 All, all my balls gone. God, just the fact that the, the ball doesn't kill you anymore. Oh, he's gonna get drunk. I feel like it makes a huge improvement in this game. Oh! I wasn't on the... He loses his hat when he dies. Ah! Coffee. Still has very clunky movement. Oh, the monkey turned into the sun. Oh. Okay, so when there's one enemy left, it just it just disappears? Or just runs away, I mean? Like in Big Doug? Is that what's going on here? Is it a European version? It could be. Like I said, it's not very... It's not very clear, like, what regions uh, these came out in. Oh, God. Oh, no, I got killed by a bunny. How embarrassing. Oh, yeah, I guess a flyer was in Japanese, so... That makes it even weirder. But I do feel like this version is a lot, a lot fairer. Bonus stage isn't that hard. Perfection! 10,000 point. You are perfected. So the mice don't show up till stage 5. Oh, there's a, there's a flag that says 5 on it. Oh, it's gone. They don't give me enough time to get some of these items. Candy. Shit. Oh, sick combo. Or sick off the wall. Why should I give you more time to get these items? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Uh -oh. It's definitely a lot more fun being able to kick the balls without, without the fear of... <laughs> of it coming back to kill you. Scene six. Oh, we got bugs. New enemy. Double ball. Oh, didn't hit anybody. What is this music? Stressful. It's getting turned. Ooh, 5,000 for the, the bug falling in the water. Take that. Sick. Scene 7. Oh, I didn't get a bonus stage. A lot of enemies here. Uh oh. The ducks. We all know ducks can't swim. One of the key. I wish they gave you more time to get these items. Oh. Read a book. Shit. I think they 
might have made this version like a little a little too easy in comparison. Of course, now that I said that, I'm gonna get fucking blown up. Oh shit! What? Are, what are these? Oh, uh, that's a lot of enemies. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ah! Yeah, they're like tiny bears. Alright, squish the bear eggs. Ooh, they can't get around that ball at the bottom. Nice. One of the key, whatever. Ooh, can't cope. That gives you full health and, and bad dudes. Ah! You're being chased. Ugh. Speed up any moment now. Okay. Oh. What was the first button in a video game? Good question. Like bear ass? Or just visible butt cheeks? Oh, well, you can keep kicking during the <laughs> the bonus thing. Cool. I'm gonna kick, boy. I'm gonna kick. Oh god, birds. Uh. Uh. -oh. Well, we all know birds can't swim. A lot of enemies here. Uh, okay. Off the wall. So yeah, the ostrich version is way too hard. This version is a little too easy, maybe. Especially if it gives you five lives by default, which again is that is that the proper default? Uh, main team doesn't know, and they don't care. <laughs> Scene 10. Oh, shit, we got chickens. Imagine getting killed by a chicken. DBH tickets. I mean, I assume there was all this enemy variety in the other version. I just couldn't get that far. It's way harder. <laughs> no, the sun! Ah! The chicken turned into a sun and killed me. Oh, I still have to finish the level. Oh, yeah, you better run. I still have three lives left, what the fuck? Oh, now I got, I got crabs. Uh -oh. Yeah, we're still getting unique enemies. Oh, fuck, I didn't want to walk into the water. Ah, Danbo! Thank you for the 46 months. everything hatched from eggs in this game. It's well known that crabs hatch from eggs. Oh, 
double kill. I just want to see all the the enemy types. We haven't reached that point yet. Whoa, what the hell is this? Satan? What is this? Devil penguins? Oh shit. Owls? Yeah, maybe. Why <laughs> gonna ball get stuck? Damn, they're really reaching. Monk. Run, 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 run. Yeah. I will kick the ball. I am kick boy. Uh oh. Not to be dead boy. Ah! Went the wrong way. Owl bears. All right. <laughs> Why is this credit still going? We've heard all the music too. Oh, we're back to we're back to Scrappy Doo. Okay, so I think we did a full loop of the animals. Yeah, the Scrappy Doo squad came out in force. I don't know if that counts as a one-loop clear. <laughs> it's one of those games that never ends, you know? Ah! Uh, you can kick, but I don't think you can kick the dog. You get extra lives, like, what does it say, like 20,000, 50,000, and then every 70 after that or something? Or was it 20, 70, and every 50? So if you play really well, yeah, you could keep it earning extra lives. It's just, uh, these later stages have a lot of enemies. Oh, take that! Oh, that takes out the bridge for good! Oh. Oh no, octopuses. Octopi can't swim. They fell in the water. They're dead. I didn't get the first score. I got the record score. Once is the, uh, the once player. Oh, that gave me an extra life? Oh, fuck. This credit's never gonna end. The flag gives you an extra life. I saw that flag earlier. I didn't know what it was. <laughs> uh, whoa, there were two balls there. Double ball. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I guess that was the, the Namco special flag. Except instead of an S, it was a 5. Boom. All right. Uh, I don't know if I should mercy kill this credit. I think we we kind of have other things to play tonight. They kind of made this version a little too easy. They couldn't find the the right difficulty balance. Ostrich version is too e too hard. This version is too easy. Oh, right. Took a bite out of my butt. <laughs> this is just the rest of the stream. I ran out of games. We have to play Kickboy all night. No, that's not true. They haven't given me another bonus stage yet. It was weird because, like, the first bonus stage was, like, scene after scene two, the second one after scene four, and then they didn't give me one until eight. I wonder if you get one after scene 16, then. Yeah, this is the last video game. Oh god. Oh god, the squad! That rabbit murdered me. I got another life! What the fuck? I thought that was my last one. Jesus Christ. When did I get another life?
I don't think this needed five lives to start. <laughs> oh, I, I was stuck. Okay. Oh well. Game over. He is dead. No, that's it. <laughs> I thought the high score music was going to be a little longer than that. So what a... This is very strange. There's, there's two versions of this that are kind of the same game, but at the same time very different in terms of like how, uh, how difficult they are. What is the high score for this? High score in MARP is 191,400, held by Big Bear. <laughs> but the high score in Dashalar... Dashalay... is... 40,000 for or no 48,450 so uh, of course that's that's probably going by if uh, by the default settings which is one life so you know oops didn't mean to minimize the window Anyway, yeah, that's... <laughs> Congrats to world record holder, Big Bear's Cave. <laughs> I haven't seen any other scores posted for this. Anyway, um, how do we rate this? Because uh, the two versions are kind of different. It's maybe not the best idea to be rating them together, but let's just say, like, uh, which version you like better. Or just whichever version you like better. Like, just give that the higher score. So let's, let's try to be positive here. How about the, uh, the Dasha Lair Kickboy experience? Should they be rated differently? Okay, yeah, the poll does show up on my uh, on my phone. You know, <laughs> four for the for the walk cycle. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. Thank no cactus bee. Thank you for the raid. How's it going? They kind of average out to a three. That's Kinda what it what it seems like. All right, so yeah, kind of a uh, kind of a lot of threes being given out. It's weird because like I do think the ostrich version is way too hard for its own good, and I probably I probably would have given that a two. Um, I I wouldn't give this a four. I wouldn't give Kickboy a four. I think it's like maybe just barely like pushing a three in terms of gameplay. Like it does, it does start to run its course, but at the same time, it is it is kind of satisfying uh, in hitting like those uh, those soccer ball combos, being able to. Just the fact that the, the soccer ball doesn't fucking kill you. That is huge. And be, being able to, to hit these, these wacky combos. So I, I like that. So I'll give it a three. But I definitely think... Uh, I definitely think Dashalar is uh, probably a two. If we were to we if we were to separate them. Yeah, why why is that ostrich able to kill himself with the ball? Why 
How hard is he kicking that ball? Anyway, I gotta I gotta catch up on some art. Looks like there were some uh, some rock and rope pieces. Give me a second. It did have a good flyer, yes. I feel like that makes a stronger impression than the actual game. Alright. Do a quick catch up here. <laughs> Alright. Thank you, Chubo. Damn, that's some some butt cheeks. That bird's got a dumpy. <laughs> of course. Thank you very much, Shuba. <laughs> oh yeah, some Norps on the the dinosaur too. He's got the he's got the shameful yank nose. A Chubo tradition. Thank you, Chuba. All rocked up on a Monday night. Thank you, Ultra 64. <laughs> if only you could fire the gun horizontally. John Rock and Rope can only fire it at that fucked up diagonal angle. I like that there's a uh, there's bone in the cartoon meat on the in the sandwich. That's good. Thank you, Ultra 64. And thank you, clip it. <laughs> Wait, who is that? <laughs> is that the rollback face? No. I'm Oh wait, there's one more. Oh, boggy! Yeah, yeah, boggy. It's a boggy like. Boggy's looking out for number one. I forgot. I forgot what boggy actually looks like. <laughs> he's he's not drawn very well in the game. And thank you, Arctangent X. For, for a dead ostrich. Killed by a soccer ball. <laughs> you hate to see it. The Dachelaire experience. Thank you, Arctangent X. Thank you, Ultra64. Thank you, Clip It. And thank you, Chubo. He never scored. Uh, fantastic as always. I know how to minimize things. All right, we're gonna do another, another one-off company, or not, not one-off company, but one-off, uh, one-off game. Uh, we gotta. We gotta bring them up at some point, don't we? <laughs> so, in 1982, Universal kind of struck gold with the uh, uh, with making a game for conversion kits called Mr. Do. They saw Dig Dug. They tried to rip it off as hard as they could. Uh, and they figured Mr. Do was their their new mascot. And so we gotta we gotta make more games featuring Mr. Do. And so the only one that uh, that made it out in '83 to capitalize on on Do Mania. Where the fuck is that image? Did I not save it? Hold on. <laughs> OBS is being weird. Let's 
slowing me down here. There we go. Uh, they made Mr. Dew's Castle. Which was essentially a... Uh, it's kind of a reskin of... Well, no, not really a reskin, but it, it's it's the same style of game as another universal game called Space Panic, which uh, uh, we kind of skipped. We didn't really talk about Space Panic in Push to Reject. But this is kind of similar in terms of game gameplay. It is not uh, not really a Dig Dug-like. It's more... Um, what do we compare this to? <laughs> uh, I don't know the best thing to compare this to. Uh, let's look at the other... Oh. Running away or challenging? Mr. Dew is very active. Is that a, is that a threat? Uh, operate Mr. Dew to exterminate all the unicorns. Oh yeah, this has an alternate name. Uh, it's like, it's just called Mr. Dew versus the unicorns. Hold on, let me get the game name in there. Mr. Dew's Castle. You have a dedicated cabinet in this game. I I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> uh, after dropping the block by using a hammer, skillfully drop the unicorn into the hole. Then drop the block onto the unicorn, and you can exterminate it. You can also exterminate the unicorn. They, they, don't say kill. You have to say exterminate. You can exterminate the unicorn by dropping a block onto it while it's walking. Make good use of whatever the fuck those are, and you can wipe out several unicorns at a time. And dropping both the blocks between them will also drop at the same time. Only Mr. Dew can remove the latter. If Mr. Dew's been held between the two unicorns, you can let him escape by dropping a block. Um, shit with the keys. You hit the keys, and then you go get the flag, and then you can you can get extra letters, because the, uh, the extra enemies are kind of a Mr. Dew staple. Uh, you can exterminate extra by hammering or dropping Mr. Dew on it. Another Mr. Dew will appear if you succeed in, in running five flags up on the pole. Uh, the last unicorn will change and spit into the blue unicorns after 30 seconds. Weird. But, uh... Yeah. <laughs> Oh, this flyer's kind of kind of wet. The company who brings you hit kits, because yeah, I, th I think I think Mr. Do is kind of the game that like kind of uh, made a lot of uh, a lot of companies uh, interested in doing like conversion kits for games, because they were just kind of realizing that like there's already a bunch of like arcade cabinets like oversaturating, just oversaturating arcades in general, so. And just a lot of a lot of companies releasing games, so there's a lot of competition. So it kind of made sense to to sell a conversion kit at a at a lower price to uh, to make it more attractive to operators. And somehow, like uh, Mr. Dew came out like relatively soon after after Dig Dug, and you know it sold. Uh, it was probably like one of the biggest selling conversion kits. It was definitely the biggest selling at the time. And so everybody started getting into the conversion craze, and yeah, Universal was still making these conversion kits. Uh, unfortunately, none of the other the other Mr. Do games did quite as well as the first, and that's why you might not have seen Mr. Do's Castle. I do know that Next Level Pinball has a cabinet of this, and I never play it, because why would I? Why would I do that? Instruction. <clears throat> well, there's Mr. Do, there's Mr. Do's Castle, there's Mr. Do's Wild Ride, there's Mr. Do... or Do Run Run, and then there's Neo Mr. Do. That's, that's for arcade. Pinball Place has this. They have, like, uh, 300 pinball tables and... Like two hundred arcade games now. They've always had a lot of arcade games. They're just they're just called next level pinball. They just have a they have a lot of arcade games too. Anyway. Yeah, this is this is Load Runner with a hammer, kind of. But without like uh uh as much movement. 
the other one to drop the things in between, right? <clears throat> like that. Oh, no! <laughs> I don't know what I was doing. I want to hit those keys. But now I can't. I have to go the other way. Only Mr. Dew can remove the ladder. Wait, how do I do that? There we go. He has to kick it. And then climb over the other way. Uh, that enemy stole at the top. Ugh, I can't get it. Why is this guy just staying up here? Alright, I'll go this way. Oh my god, the control is not good. With as many home ports as it's got, you wouldn't think it's P PTR material? Well, I have to ask, have you seen an arcade cabinet of this? We're not we're not going by home ports, we're going by the arcade cabinets. <laughs> I thought I mentioned that at the top of the stream. How many Mr. Dew's castle have, cabinets have you seen in the wild? Man, I am really bad at this. Uh, that does not kill him. Okay, uh... How the fuck do I set this up? That does not kill. I have to... I have to drop a cherry on him. Or I do this. There we go. I felt like a lot of work for one stage. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh. Uh, am I gonna kill myself if I do this? No. Oh no! That doesn't actually drop it. He is dead. Okay, that wasn't, uh... <laughs> I didn't even get on the high scores. I need to try this again. I feel like, uh... The gameplay in this is not as... Definitely not as straightforward as the original Mr. Do. I mean, you have, you have a couple win conditions in the original Mr. Do. You either find all the cherries, or you kill all the monsters. And you can just shoot the monsters in that game. Ugh, quad kill. Let's go. Unfortunately, I'd only get one extend letter after that. back here, you. I can't kill him if he's on the ladder. There we go. Yeah, I, I I don't mind hearing about people that have actually seen this on cabinets. I just, uh... People always bring up home ports with these games, but it's like, like I said... Um... <laughs> hold on, I'm trying to form a, a battle plan here. Um... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, that counts as a kill. Okay. You can beat the level by knocking all the cherry blocks. There's a lot of them! There's way more cherries. Okay. Uh, what do I do here? <laughs> uh, this isn't gonna work. Luckily, there's no fall damage. I'll give it up for that. 
Okay, I think I just made things worse. Also, they're speeding up. Oh no! Okay. Oh god. Uh, alright. <laughs> Damn. Pincer attack. I am, I am terrible at this game. Oops. Ugh. I didn't mean to fall off. Alright, maybe if I can get the, uh... Splat. If I can get the, the letters. I definitely get way more points for that. Unfortunately, one of the letters was a dupe. I have definitely not done Chivos for this. I don't think it has an arcade set, thankfully. I'm not touching it. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh. <laughs> womp womp. I gotta break 10,000 at least. Also, wait, wait, hold up, hold up. Let me, uh... Let's play Mr. Do versus the Unicorns. Which I think is essentially the same game with a different name. Oh, it's versus unicorns, not the unicorns. My bad. Did level one have? Yeah, I guess it had five enemies, right? You have, you have to be able to spell extra. Uh oh, oh, you can't, you can't walk over them. It's not, uh, it's not load runner. Okay, let me reset. This is the Japanese version. Japanese players couldn't handle the concept of castles in the title. Oh, hit it too early. Wait, there's no cherries. Where'd the cherries go? Thank God the extra letters don't actually kill you. Uh-oh. Splat! There we go. Okay, so there's there's no cherries in this version. So you can't finish a level by getting all the cherries now? Oops, I didn't mean to fall. So yeah, you can push it without actually dropping off. That's good. Splat. Uh-oh. Uh, okay. Gotta get that last key. Try to knock out that skull. Come on, you want a piece of this? Oh, I already have the E. I need the raw. Come back. You fucker. Last guy. I guess drop him here. There we go. <laughs> this game belongs in New Jersey. 
Just ship all the Mr. Do cabinets to, to New Jersey. They'll... They're fine with it. Uh-oh. Oh, it doesn't count if they're in there. If they're in the, the spot. Okay. I thought it would. Alright, I fucked up. What am I doing? There we go. Hey, I made 10,000. Things are looking up. That didn't work! I was trying to drop it on him. Also, you might get an extra life at 10,000, huh? Shit. Um, okay. No, go up the ladder, idiot. Go up the ladder! Can't get up there. <laughs> like that. I love that you get to hear this noise while <laughs> the item is up there. Uh oh. It became a blue unicorn. I had those letters already? Man. Oh, there's a green one now. What does that mean? Huh? Why didn't that work? Because I got hit, I guess? Ranking. Uh, if you fall on top of them when they're stuck in a hole, I guess you just you just land on them. I don't think you you push them like off. Bad universal. Yeah, I. Mm, I. I don't really care for this. <laughs> it's. It's not as intuitive. Like, I, I, I guess I just didn't want to make uh, another Dig Dug clone, so they're... They're trying to think differently. But... I don't... I don't think this was the right approach. I think I'd rather play regular Mr. Do. I feel like that's the much... The much easier game to pick up. But never mind me. What do y'all think? Some people have played this. Some people have seen cabinets of this. Yeah, I feel like I, if I if I spent a quarter on this, I'd be like, man, I wish I wish I'd played regular Mr. Do instead. Yeah, they should have made Snapjack's castle. Why didn't Snapjack take off as a mascot? I love Snapjack. Snapjack deserved better. If only Snapjack had been the, uh... The conversion kit hit of 1982. Maybe in an alternate universe. What the fuck? Y'all are way kinder to this game than I am. 52% <laughs> gave us a 3. 
No. <laughs> it's 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 not a one. But to me it's a pretty low two. Yeah, what Sunshine Fun said. It's a very low two. Like, there is some technique to it. There are some there are some strats. Um it's just not fun to play. So I think that's essentially what it comes down to. Damn, BBA chase everything. He's given He's given lower ratings to every to everything chat's given out today. Spank me. No, I guess uh I guess Kickboy was about the same. So Grace, thank you for the 100 bits. Huh? I I guess some people like it. If if that's you, uh, I wish you good luck. <laughs> I guess I don't know what to say. VBH is laughing at his own joke. All right. Yeah, I'm just I'm just a big grumpy pants. I don't like anything. I hate arcade games. So let's play another arcade game. Uh, let's look at a couple games by uh, uh, by our good friends at Tecmo, who were going by Tecon at the time. And they released a couple games that I don't think really took off. Of course, we have to. Uh, there had to be a point where we get to talk about the. Uh, this game was featured on Starcade, the Starcade Classic. And boy, this game is something. Guzzler! Oh, yeah. This was licensed to uh, Century in the uh, in the U.S., but I think it got a very, very limited release. They were the same company that was licensing uh, Konami stuff. Uh, they they, uh, they did the cabinets for Gyrus and Track and Field and stuff like that, but they were... They also had the rights to, to Guzzler. And I don't recall ever seeing this. Um, what about Fireball? Um, where's the other flyer? Does this have instructions? Oh yeah, we got instructions. Special attention, longer life with better income. Uh, this is really fucking hard to read. Various kinds of beverage in the center show up when Guzzler collects water from two big puddles. That's gonna that's gonna be important. So the basic gist of this game is uh, you're a cup of water, and you have to put out flames. But when you run out of water, you have to you gotta find more water on the floor. Or if you run out entirely, you just gotta run around a bunch and hope the water fills up in your cup uh, like magic. Enjoy various 32 patterns. How many patterns can you complete? Extinguish the four fireball flames to complete the pattern. Push fire button to extinguish fireballs, flashes, and demons. Guzzler collects water from puddles, or if empty, by walking. Damn, they got a really high score on that, uh, on that extra chance screen. I don't think I'm going to score that high. Oh yeah, it's like Swimmer. You can get like an extra, an extra life at the end. Oh yeah, that, that, that tiny cabinet we were going back and forth on Rugrat scores on. I remember that. This did get ported to the uh, the SG-1000. I actually played the, the SG-1000 port for uh, uh, one of those retro achievements things. And uh, it was kind of alright, but one of the levels was like almost impossible for some reason. Did I update the game name? I did. Tech Unlimited presents Guzzler 1983 Japan. Please you. <laughs> Please you. Alright. Oh 
yeah, it's got a bonus system at the bottom that I never uh I never figured out how that worked. No, you don't have to spell guzzler. You have to eliminate the four the, those four flames in the corners of the screen. You don't have to kill all the enemies. You just have to get rid of the big flames. Damn, demo's actually uh the demo actually finished the level. Hey, how about that? And it's going through the bonus screen? <laughs> it's going through all this shit? All right. Drip, 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 drip. Hold on, we gotta fill up the title screen. We gotta run the water for a bit. Guzlair. All right. Brum. 30,000 points, one extra. Every 100,000, one extra. Alright. So when Guzzler's full, his water goes farther. His shots don't go as far when he's not full. Also, he runs faster when he's like when he doesn't have water in his in his body. Shit, where's the uh where's the drink? Did I Oh fuck. Okay, let me reset. I missed the uh I missed the drink in the middle. Try that again. It said when you eliminate two flames, there's like a, a beverage in the middle. I think the flyer lied to me. Alright. There it is. Oh, the fire's moving. There we go. When you get down to one fireball, it's on the move. Next round two. Uh oh, Ugh. okay. Let the enemies come out first. Okay. I think the SG-1000 port didn't even have the intermissions. Oh god, you're being chased! Ah! Oh no, that's gonna kill me. Help. Damn, it was on my ass. Alright, whatever. I didn't get the beverage. Weird bonus screen. Oh. Take a bath, idiots. Okay, so, oh god. What do I gotta do to get the, uh, the beverage, then? Okay, it showed up after that enemy. So that freezes all enemies that were, or, oh god. Makes them slower. Alright. So I think it's every three stages, yeah, you get an intermission. Daddy Guzzler steps in. Okay. Maybe it's uh, certain enemies you have to kill. Maybe you're supposed Sentai to kill those. Yo, son of ham! Hey, thank you for the uh, for the Twitch Prime. Yo, much appreciated. Always appreciated, you sub. Thank you very much. Enjoy the enjoy the emails. And, and it was a Samchai alert. <laughs> thank you. Ooh, that almost killed me. So enemies respawn really fast when you kill them. Okay, I think I got this. Oh, maybe I don't. Fuck. Oh god, the fireball's on the move. Okay, 
Luckily, you get water back just by walking around when you're when you're empty. All right. Yeah, this game definitely has charm. It's pretty pretty easy to pick up. I feel like that's important. Uh-oh. He's dead. Okay. I'm not getting many many beverages. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't fully understand the guzzler letters either. It's like cycling through every now and then. Oh, he's getting drunk. <laughs> this game is depressing. Oh, is it based on which part of the screen you're in? Yeah, 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 yeah. I think so. It's like, uh, wow. Oh. It's like fucking Rainbow Islands or something. Alright, let me try to get the, uh... Let me try to get the bonus done. That's tough. There we go. Does that just give me another 7200 bonus on... Oh, it just doubles it, okay. Okay, I get it. So there is some extra, extra scoring tech if you want to go for it. I feel like that's too much of a pain in the ass to set up, though. Shit. A lot of enemies over there. Okay. Little guzzler. Oh, what? That didn't reach? Ow. Oh. oh, extra chance. Sorry, no extra. Womp womp. Dell end? Dell end? No rub end. Right, butts. No more, please you. Okay, well, I wanna. <laughs> I wanna see the rest of the intermission, so what I'm gonna do. We're gonna do a little cheatsy weetsy. Select starting round eight. Because there's some... The intermissions are pretty depressing. <laughs> the guzzler lore is very complicated. Right, give me that melon. Get that. Oh, God. This is another game with four-way movement, by the way. I do kind of wish you could run diagonally. The four-way movement, it's it's kind of it's kind of clunky. It's just like uh uh Dash Oler, Kick Boy. Be too powerful diagonally? Yeah, maybe. Fuck! Not very good at the movement. Alright, whatever. Intermission. Yo, give me the booze!
So is that like his son? Or... Daddy Guzzler? What's the... Uh... What is the lore? Who can say? I mean, there's, there's kind of some good variety in the levels, like... It's kind of weird because each... Each level is not necessarily harder than the previous level, so you're not really sure what to expect. I don't know if that's good or bad. And triple kill. Give me that. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Uh, I'm being chased. Uh, Tane, thank you for the raid. How's it going? Oh, okay. <laughs> I learned it from watching you, Dad. Uh-oh. Uh, I don't have enough water. It looks like I just went through that enemy. I didn't turn on an invincibility dish, so I didn't cheat that hard. Shit. Okay. Damn it! Okay. Enemies keep respawning. What's a guzzler to do? Oh, he just got a one on strikers. Nice. I just did that for the first time a few days ago, too. Good shit. Oh. <laughs> Damn, he got a second bottle? The third bottle? Oh, man. Poor Guzzler. This game is dark. Bottles does he have? Uh, being chased. Uh, okay. <laughs> it doesn't give you an AA hotline. Number. This was the stage that was fucking hard as shit to do. Or no, there was like some, there was like some chivo for this that was like to beat this stage within a certain amount of time, and it was like damn near impossible. I remember this stage. I hate this stage. Yeah. I should fill back up. Yeah, this is just a it's a cute game about a a funny little guy. Full of water, putting out fire. Uh, also, his dad gets drunk. Oh, time's over! No! Okay. I figured out the timing on that. Alright, let's, let's skip ahead to round 15. I skipped the name screen. Didn't I just do a stage like this? I kind of reused some of the stages. Shit. The problem is you kill enemies and they, they respawn so fast. What's the next intermission? <laughs> He's gonna have such a fucking hangover in the morning. Oh, fuck the movement. Okay. Yeah, 
If he's made of water, he needs to like, you know, you gotta you gotta drink water to stave off a hangover, right? So does that really work in Guzzler's case? Much to think about. water. Maybe it's just easier to stay, like, in this form as long as you can, because then you don't have to, uh... Oh, I see! You pick up two of the big waters, and that's what makes the beverage show up. I thought you had to, like, wipe out two fireballs. Okay, okay. I get it now. If I go for another big water, there'll be some liquid refreshment in the middle of the stage. Yeah. Okay, I get it. Yeah, the letters light up based on where you are on the screen. Oh! Wake up, Dad! What? Damn, we're gonna end on a cliffhanger? I didn't kill the fireball. <laughs> I thought I did. Alright, so I think I'm seeing the strat now. Just go for the big water. Pick up the booze. Take out the fireballs. Maybe that's the strat. I don't know. Seems good to me. Hold on. Oh! He's fast. Not quite a triple kill. Wooka 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 wooka. Is he at it? Negative one. Yeah, that, that gives you a big bonus and the enemies slow down. Seems like the way to go. Yeah, the letters are determined where Guzzler is on the screen, and if you spell out Guzzler, you get double bonus. I've learned so much about this game. That's right, I need to get more water. Yeah, that makes it way easier. I get it now. Nope. Are we back to the first cutscene? We might have seen everything there is to see. I'll try to get one more cutscene and see if it's the, uh... If it's the same one. Oh damn, the bonus goes up a lot on the later stages, huh? I mean, the game said it had 32 patterns, but yeah, it's kind of repeating shit. I guess enemies are getting a little faster? Yeah, they're, they're faster than me now. So yeah, the game... The game is still getting harder. Shit. Okay. And I mean, if the bonus keeps going up, you at least get, like, closer to a new extra life. Oh, what? 
How'd that not hit? Alright. Oh, they're way too fast. Also, I guess you have to... If you lose a life after picking up one big water, you gotta get two. Okay, yeah, we, we looped the cutscene, so I guess we've seen everything there is to see here. What a... what a fucked up game. <laughs> so it literally ends with the kids, like, trying to get dad up. The alcoholic dad. <laughs> Act two and three. Those enemies came out really fast. Uh oh. They're speeding up. This stage in particular is a pain in the ass. Alright, well. We need to kill this credit off. Oh, I'm in the water. Yeah, the SG-1000 version didn't have much content at all. Um, I can't get over there. Uh, this is a problem. <laughs> I can't get down there. I guess you're supposed to go down there first. There we go. That stage is rough. Lucky, one more extra. I don't want one more extra. I just want to see if I could get it. <laughs> I was gonna say, I, I almost spelled Guzzler, I need to go for it. Alright. Bring back the cockboat. I should have put hearts around it. Oh well. Good enough. What a what a weird game. What a fucked up game. But there is kind of some tech to it. I feel like I was I was making progress though. Although the high score for this on MARP was one million two hundred and seventy two thousand five hundred eighty. So, yeah, people have been able to play this game for a good long time. I guess it does essentially become patternable. What a game, what a game. I mean, I, I, I enjoy it. But it is... <laughs> I wonder how much of these ratings are going to be... Uh, be boosted by, uh, you know... Uh, Guzzler's dad being an alcoholic. <laughs> I don't know. Vote with your heart. <laughs> Alright, well... 53% gave it a 3. 18% gave... or 34% gave it a 4. 
couple twos, a one, a five. A couple, a few twos, couple, couple ones, one five. Uh, okay. Should I give it a three? What do I think? Well, I'm gonna say this now that I now that I better understand like how the the bonus thing in the middle works. It kind of makes me want to like try again and go for a higher score. Oh yeah, the demo shows how the the double bonus works too. I didn't I didn't know how that works either. So you know what? I think I'm giving this a four. I think I like it. And yeah, maybe maybe part of it is the uh, the weird charm of uh, <laughs> the fucked up intermissions making me laugh so hard. But I don't know. I I kind of I kind of like it. I think it's all right. I think it's pretty good. It's very very dark and twisted. <laughs> But it's a it's a funny kind of stupid, or or something. I don't know. All right, let me do some uh, some art catch up. Give me one second. Oh yeah, it's on Arcade Archives. How about that? <laughs> oh man. Okay. Wow, they're, they're showing the the intermission in the uh, in the demo. I just I just tabbed back. I just saw that. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Why am I over here now? I clicked on the wrong thing. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, I think somebody's been drinking. Alright, we gotta do some, uh, some Dasheler slash Kickboy catch up. Uh, what? Where is it? There we go. Uh, thank you, Clip It, for <laughs> the world's most fragile ostrich. Man, why did they do that? Why did why did they make the ball kill you? And also, thank you for Mr. Do versus the unicorns. See, the stage one boss in, in Ghosts and Goblins, his name is Unicorn. I get it. <laughs> Pretty good. Thank you, Clip It. Uh... <laughs> oh, man. Uh, thank you, Ultra64. For this violent look at Mr. Dew's castle. Holy shit. <laughs> I think I would have I would have bumped it up a little if you could explode them into Gibbs. Maybe. <laughs> thank you, Ultra Sixty Four. Uh, thank you, Turborks. Turborks. I probably just said that wrong. Uh, for for the Kick Boy. I like that the uh, I like the Kick Boy sign. I do like that Kickboy's always trying to get the word out about himself. He's such a narcissist. <laughs> the fucked up ostrich. Thank you for the for the Kickboy art. Um, I don't have enough room on this layout. I gotta start uh, shrinking these down. Hey, that works. And of course, thank you, Chubo. Uh, was this the right one? 
Yeah, this one. Stupid clown butts. <laughs> it's Chubo, you gotta have some booty. Stupid sexy Mr. Do. <laughs> and there is a uh, a guzzler piece already. I want to be just like Daddy when I grow up. Fun for all ages. Guzzler. Available now at your local arcade. Or not. <laughs> uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, there's one more. Hold on. <laughs> what was I? Oh, he, I blanked on the game name for a second. I just okay. Okay, Das Yachty. I haven't seen any Das Yachty art in a while. Good to see you. Do it. Whoa, caveman jump scare. Uh, thank God that's covering up his uh, his wiener. That caveman, that caveman is blind. John Rock and Rope has committed an uh, an atrocity. Thank you, Dasiati. <laughs> Watch me scare about of his balls. <laughs> Yep, yeah, don't fuck around with those flashlights. Oh, man. Thank you very much, y'all. Okay, so the other... The other Tekon game I wanted to look at... I remember streaming this, like, a couple years ago. For, like, one of those, uh... It was, like, a Kelly's Cup mini tournament or something? I was it Dad Fest? I don't remember. <laughs> and I remember thinking, "Hey, this game's kind of cool." And then, well, let's let's not get ahead of ourselves. Uh, this is Senjo. It kind of looks like a space shooter, except it's not really a space shooter. It's got space tanks, though. You're gonna intercept space tanks for whatever that's worth. That's always fun. So this game is not a uh, not a traditional space shooter. This is played from the cockpit, and you uh, you take out enemies that way. Let's uh, let's blow this up a little bit. Destroy space tanks approaching you by firing the twin laser guns when thirty-two tanks have been destroyed. And the present battle is over. And the first round is cleared. By full use of radar, locate space tanks and destroy them. Before space tanks have been destroyed, one of the various types of spotter will appear. Shoot it down and your score will multiply. Yeah, I guess it's a battle zone like. A uh, space tank that has come nearest to you is very dangerous. So destroy it as quickly as possible. In the course of time, a raider will appear and rush towards your position. From the second round on, a Eliminator will appear and a certain number of shells are fired. When shooting down, all space tanks on the screen are destroyed. So, yeah, it's kind of a kind of a battle zone like. Just shooting uh, shooting enemies at uh, with a crosshair. Uh, a lesson. Like French or something. <laughs> I'm trying to read these notes at the bottom. Well, I, I've, I've never seen a cabinet of this. Uh, I don't know if it really got much distribution outside Japan. I guess it, it got it got a flyer in English, so it was translated for some regions. Some regions, not reasons, regions. Yeah.
Yeah, unfortunately this game doesn't have uh, super hot jams. Yeah, good point, X Mortis. I guess uh I guess I'm cancelled. Senjo. Well, it looks kinda cool for nineteen eighty three. It's got the Hellifire gradient background for some reason. And it's got the color cycling multiplier at the bottom left, like Bomb Jack, which was, uh, that was Tekon's big hit of 83. What's it, 82? And also, I appreciate the game over space exclamation mark. I think that high score was, was just me, like, booting it up to make sure it works, because all the, all the scores are supposed to be zero. All right. That's totally a holy fire gradient. Okay. All right. Shoot space tanks. Yep, we're doing it. Take that. Oh, times two now. Let's go. So I think that's the strat. You want to you want to get those spotters. Get the multiplier up. And then you try not to die. Uh oh, uh oh, he's getting close to the tank. Oh no, he ran into me. No, I'm dead. Oh, you keep your multiplier actually. Okay, that's nice of them. Wasn't expecting that. Oh yeah, you have a radar at the bottom. You got to use that. Where the tanks are. Stay away from me. Oh god, oh god. Oh, what? Okay. That was aggressive. Oh, hello. So the problem is you can only fire one shot at a time. Damn, that was not a very good cre credit. Why did I get so loud? Alright, let's try again, because that was not a... <laughs> I didn't get past round one. Yeah, the problem is your, your tank takes up a lot of real estate on the screen. So it's kind of hard to dodge shit sometimes. Mm, the control is fine, it's just only being able to fire one shot at a time is very limiting. It mostly controls like you would expect. You are kinda, kinda slow. I need that multiplier. There we go. Uh oh. This guy's getting in my space. Get out of here. You can shoot the fireballs, but... Kind of hard to hit. I missed. No! That guy is hard to hit. Because it's moving so quick. And like I said, you only get one shot. There we go. Get that multiplier up. Oh, hello. I'm supposed to be using the radar. Oh. <laughs> I thought something was about to happen. So unfortunately, the multiplier goes back to times one on a new stage, so you have to you gotta build it back up. Oh no, the fireballs are are being all goofy now. Okay. Oh, I can't 
can't hit this guy. A tiny hitbox. So yeah, now the now the fireballs get like a lot harder to dodge. And I think that was the uh, the problem I I kind of had with this game is that like uh, I just couldn't deal with these fireballs. And this game kind of gets to the point where yeah. This is hard to survive. We don't really have the firepower to be dealing with these these zigzagging fireballs. Unfortunately. Like that. Game over! I think I ended up, like, breaking 100,000 in that mini-tournament, but... It felt like everybody, like, was getting to that level. I'll try it one more time. I'll at least get past round two. But yeah, I don't know, this, this game looks impressive for the time. But, like, I don't know, ultimately, it, it kind of feels like a lot of style over substance, like there's really not much to it. And, um... The low rate of fire just makes it really, really difficult to do stuff sometimes. Like, stage one isn't so bad when you can actually deal with these fireballs. But then once they once they start doing those goofy oh, zigzags, Thank you. like that's where that's where you just start to get your ass handed to you. Neo Antoine, hey, thank you for the raid. As always. How's it going? Yeah, like I wanna like this, but. <laughs> Oh, I can't reach it. What the heck? As usual, comma. Right up approved. <laughs> Need to prepare the write up on Senjo. Fuck! Looks nice, but gameplay-wise, it's kind of kind of get the point. Look at look at that! What was I supposed to do about that? How am I supposed to know where the fireball's gone? Fuck out of here! What is that? The Eliminator. Nice. Isn't that an American Gladiator or something? Fucking... I, I see the fireball! I want to shoot it! But I can't shoot it! It's frustrating playing Sub-Zero. You get no respect. I'm really torn on this. A uh, single one of the spores come up on Kalov? Damn. It does seem to be pretty, pretty obscure. How much for an extend? Uh, 100k only. Those are the only options? Damn. Wow. What is the high score on Mart for this? 234,000. Okay. 
Somebody broke 200k on this. I. That's probably a really, really old recording that like only uh, only runs on like DOS versions of MAME. But then again, MARP is still down, so I can't even watch the replay. So it's been down for like the last two weeks. Oh well. Yeah, this is. I want to like this, but uh, just just let me fire. <laughs> Oh, I like how that demo just died immediately. Let me fire more than one shot at a time. Maybe that would have made the game too easy. And they balanced it around only having one shot, but... I don't know. That's... That's a bit too much. Alright, well, let's, uh... Let's do a pull. Yeah, it's a... it's a good-looking two. <laughs> I, I shouldn't be saying that. I, I, I should not be influencing the vote. But... Uh, spoilers, I think that's where my heart lies. But like I said, if you... If you saw it without playing it, like if you saw it... Uh, if you somehow came across this cabinet, like you would think, damn, that looks pretty cool. I, I, I want to play that. Especially in 1983, like, hey, that, that looks awesome. But well, we seem to be we seem to be in the oh god, I didn't take down the things. Fuck, <laughs> I gotta get better about that. Damn it! I was doing so well tonight. Anyway. Uh, 73% gave it a 2. Totally in agreement. <laughs> Ignore the 4. Everyone was already agreeing with me before that. Well, that's good. I'm glad the, the BBH influence didn't, uh, didn't go that, uh, hard. Okay, um... Do, 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 do. Yeah, I don't think we've had a... I don't think we've had more than a, a one bongo separation between, uh... between me and chat yet. It'll probably happen at some point. We haven't gotten there yet, but I'm sure it's gonna happen at some point. What will be... What will be the first game to do that? Who knows? Who knows? Anyway, I think I'm going to I'm going to stand up for I'm going to go use the restroom real quick. Take a quick break. Not too long, just a couple minutes. Oh, was there one where I gave it a 2 but chat gave it a 4? Which game was that? <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> Man, I haven't been doing these streams for that long and I already I already forgot. Cuz I always say like uh like, somebody brings up something that happened in Mame Roulette, and I'm like, I don't fucking remember that. That was, like, seven years ago. There's a lot of things that have happened on the stream that I don't, I don't fucking remember. Anyway. Uh, let me just stand up for a second. Play some more Dangerous Seed music. I'll be right back!
Okay. I'm back. <laughs> wrong, wrong track. Okay. Put that back in the background. I just realized. Uh... Spank me. Oh, Prince Hortkin, thank you for the uh, 300 bits. Much appreciated. Um, yeah, there hasn't been a two bongo disparity. Okay, that's why I don't remember. <laughs> that's why I don't remember, I guess. Um, I'm just noticing now. It feels like we've been. I've been spending a bit of time on these games tonight. I, uh. Might be doing less games tonight than I than I planned, which which is fine. We'll get around to we'll get around to all these eventually. I kind of had uh, might have to cut out a couple things tonight. We've only done like five games. At the very least, yeah, there haven't been any one bongo games, so it's not like I play like ten minutes or something. I'm like, okay, this sucks. Next. There's been, there's been some okay things tonight. Uh, that being said, let's look at, uh... <laughs> They're too popular! People have heard of them! You can't play Rock and Rope! This came out on the Atari 2600. Well, let's look at a couple games by, uh... Uh... <laughs> by a company that made, uh... Uh... They made some dreadful games, but, um... Ah, you never know. Maybe the maybe these arcade games will be okay. A uh, company called uh, Sigma Enterprises, Sigma Nuts, makers of stuff like New York, New York, and um, I don't remember what else I mean. <laughs> but there was one game in particular that uh, that just got dumped like. So like a year ago? Maybe a little over a year ago now. I forget like how long ago it was. Uh, nobody had uh, nobody had been able to find a board of it for a while. Oh yeah, Spiders! Spiders was okay. Spiders was okay. But anyway, a board of this was found. And now it's playable in MAME. Talking about, uh, well... We don't have a full scandal flyer. Somebody took a picture of it, so this will this will have to do. Akazukin. 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 It is a. Uh, it's a little red riding hood. It's the first. Well, not, maybe not the first. I shouldn't say that. It's one of the first escort mission games, <laughs> where you play the role of a dude with a gun. And you have to protect Little Red Riding Hood as she heads off to her grandma's house. Because there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of wolves trying to get her. And there's, there's a, a log that fell in the woods and if she runs into it she dies. Yeah, I, I've streamed this a couple times. I streamed it when it came out just because I was like, whoa, this is actually, uh... This actually, uh, got dumped. I, I want to try it. And then I think I came up in Mame Roulette too, of course. Developed by Kaiken. Well, we'll leave uh, we'll leave Sigma there for now. Wait, released in Japan February '84. Does this game not count? Okay, fuck it. You know, no, we're, we're doing it anyway. <laughs> that's an 18th. It has a 1983 copyright date. Close enough. That's another problem with uh, with finding games for this. Sometimes the uh, the release date is like after what the uh, the original uh, uh, what the the year was on the title screen. But fuck it, close enough. <laughs> we'll just have to make do. Okay, uh, this doesn't run on the usual version of of MAME I, I use. Okay. Hold on, I might have to configure some shit here. It's very farty. Oh, 
there she goes. That is quite the walk cycle. <laughs> of course you would say that, Bolada. Wow, why'd they space out insert coin so much? Okay, I'm not actually playing, this is a demo. That's kinda loud. So yeah, it's basically uh, an escort mission. So whenever you reach an intersection, um, the direction she goes is, like, away from where you are on the screen, so if you're on the left, she goes to the right, and vice versa. Also, if you pick up the big flower like you, like the demo just did, uh, <laughs> this happens. All the wolves run away. This is a really long demo. Yeah, it's got the bullets at the bottom, so you don't, uh... It doesn't automatically reload. I guess it's to keep you from rapid-firing too much. Puff. Keep the Akazuken. Also, there's a, there's a shot rate percentage, by the way. Which is really stupid. Alright. We're not going to worry about that. Alright, let's go. <clears throat> and he stopped to pick up flowers when there's... Oh, that's only shot her. <laughs> so you lose points when you... Or no, you don't lose points, but it like freezes the, uh, the points when you shoot her. And she just kind of looks annoyed by it. Like, ah! Why are you shooting me? All right, we gotta get the we gotta get the special flower. There we go. Don't run into that log; you'll die. Big bonus. There's another one over there, I can't get to it. Shit. So here's one of the big problems with the game. Whenever she's like all the way on the side over here, uh, you kind of don't get much time before the wolves come get her. That one was entirely my fault though. All right, maybe, uh, okay, this is fine. Uh, don't get killed by the frog. Alright, she's almost there. Kick in the turbo. Zoom! Why couldn't you go that fast in the first place? 21.5% hit ratio. That's not very good. Grandma's house looks like a skull. Yeah, he doesn't do the Cabal Dance. That would help. I think every game needs a Cabal Dance. Uh-oh, the Red Wolf. Oh, I went the wrong way! No! the. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't get the super... Super Flower. Sorry, I'm trying to shoot the, the fucking log. It's gonna kill you. No! <laughs> so I think that's why you want to stay in the center of the screen whenever you can, because if they come out from the trees, you don't really have much time to react to anything. I think. I don't I don't know the, the optimal strats for this, this, this fucking game. 
Oh my god! <clears throat> I lost like three of my life set. Also, it was set to four lives for some reason. Bad hunter! The game just called me a bad hunter. Oh shit, I have five letters. Dell End. Another game with Dell End. What is this Dell End propaganda? Weird, it says it says three lives, but you start with three in reserve, so you actually get four. I don't know if that's intentional. I mean I could use an extra life in this impossible game. <laughs> This game is an interesting concept. It's just very. Uh, oh god, I missed it again. Damn it. Uh, this is not executed very well. She can survive a bullet, but she can't survive a wolf. Or a log, for that matter. No! Okay. Well, I can get that one at least. Maybe? There we go. <laughs> Shoot the walls when they run away. Excellent. Get all the flowers. Whoa. MC Schwartz. Thank you for the 500 bits. That was very kind of you. Uh, what is this frog doing? That frog will kill ya! Oh my god, that does look like a skull. Nyaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaa
Yeah, and the wolves are kind of teleporting, they're wave dashing. It's, uh... I don't know. <laughs> God, there's like seven wolves on screen! Okay, I gotta break that log. Nice. Oh, where'd the red wolf go? And it's weird because the game is so frantic for a while, and then the whole... The whole flower mode thing goes on for... Like, like, 20 seconds. <laughs> and like, nothing's going on. My favorite part of this game is when I get to do nothing. Oh, never mind, I got killed during flower mode. Puff. Game over. Bad hunter! So I'm always going to be bad unless I, uh... Unless I'm a perfect marksman. And that's... That's fucking impossible in this game. I don't know why they made the, uh... The shot ratio such a... Such a big thing. So I remember messing around with this when I was streaming it because... There's a dip switch here that lets you skip the current level. Cheat! So you can see the other stages. It's a rack advanced test, as they, they call it in Pac-Man. So let's go to... Let's go to level four. Like, basically every stage is, like, kind of a different season, and eventually it, like, loops. Ugh. Oh my god! I feel like the problem is, like, you're not quick enough to get over, like, move over on the screen to where the wolves are sometimes. Classic shmup problem of being too slow. I didn't even notice the fucking super flower. Oh well. Bruh! Yeah, maybe it would have been better with an analog, like, trackball or dial. But... Digital controls don't really work well for this. Damn, there's a formation. Wow, you get bonus points for that. I had to catch up. <laughs> but yeah, there's there's no rhyme or reason with what the wolves decide to do. They can sometimes they'll be trying to kill her, other times they'll just be running around the screen. It doesn't really make much sense. Also, I feel like the even-numbered stages are, like, way longer than the odd-numbered stages. I'm sorry. Like, extra shit to go through. Oh, shit! Oh, no! 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 Okay, walk on the left side. Walk on the left side. You can do it. You stupid... Ah. <laughs> stupid little girl. <laughs> well, that's a new enemy that shows up. <laughs> Just eats the bridge. <laughs> How did she manage to survive this long in life? I don't know. Whoa. Invisible stage. So you get to stage five and the, the paths are invisible. So good luck figuring out where she's going. You can kind of see a path, but yeah, this is uh, this is kind of a pain. Oh, that didn't count for the super flower. No. 
Also, I've never seen the bees actually get her. I'm sure it can happen, but... Uh, I can't... I can't get the super flower. Take that, bee. Well, I wasn't all the way on the right side of the screen. I guess that's my fault. Puff. Normal hunter, hey! I'm a normal hunter. How about that? That's the best rating I've ever gotten. Well. This is an interesting concept, it's just... I can see why it's so obscure. Very, very badly executed. I definitely feel like uh, some sort of analog dial control would have helped a lot. Tile screen looks nice. But when it comes down to it, ask people nowadays if they like escort missions in video games. Probably gonna say no. And this might have been one of the first games based entirely around uh, <laughs> around an escort mission. Woodsman, help! Anyway, I don't think we can blame this game. I don't think that many uh, that many companies like saw this and were like, "Yeah, let's." Uh, Let's rip that off. We're gonna we're gonna get those bastards at Sigma Enterprises. Anyway. Pull those up. Yeah, maybe this inspired all the the Exidy light gun games like Cheyenne and Crossbow and and everybody's favorite Who Done It. I get well. I guess this. Wait, crossbow was eighty three. This is technically eighty four. Crossbow was the uh, the first light gun game they did, right? I think it was. I think I'm getting the timeline all fucked up. Oh man, I can't wait for Who Done It. <laughs> oh, I've I've got issues with that game. <laughs> All right, so yeah, this this is definitely a two. A uh, interesting concept, bad execution. I'm glad it got dumped. I'm glad it was uh, saved and preserved. Saved and preserved are kind of the same thing. Dumped and preserved. But it is it is a neat game in concept. But how are you? I'm fine. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Lore Master Noja, that's a good name. Thank you for the for the raid. <laughs> Change my name to Lore Master BBH. Anyway, two bongos. Sounds about right. You heard I like shock troopers. Yeah, I uh, I've been known to play shock troopers sometimes. I kind of enjoy that game. It's kind of my favorite game on the Neo Geo. Uh, okay, we got some art to catch up on. Hold on. <laughs> okay, one second. Bring back the ambiance. <laughs> okay.
couple quick pieces to catch up on. Uh, thank you, Big Bears Cave, for the uh, the official box art for Guzzler. <laughs> Drinking Guz brand beer. <laughs> thank you for that, Big Bear. And thank you, I think you clip it for the uh, the Guzzler slash uh, Tapper crossover. A match made in heaven. You got to where you could 1cc Shock Troopers? Nice! For me, just 1cc and Shock Troopers wasn't enough. I had to keep playing it and go going for higher and higher scores, and that's where that's where I truly started to love the game. That started me on a on a really fun journey. Anyway, thank you, uh, thank you, Clip It, thank you, Big Bears Cave. Uh, 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 okay. So the other game I wanted to look at from uh, from Sigma Enterprises. Uh, oh, that's the wrong image. I guess we use that one. Okay. Uh, it's Battle Cruiser M12. Um, this is a... It's not a space shooter. It's a single-screen shooter, but you're a sub and you're... Uh, shooting stuff in the water. And... That's pretty much it. I didn't really play this game that much. Uh, Off-stream, I don't really know much about it. <laughs> Boat games! Woohoo! Um, it certainly seemed playable. But, um, we'll see. Also, I guess it did get some kind of a US release, because there's a... Like a flyer. Or, not a flyer, a marquee. I don't like the M on that, that font. It looks like NL12. Oh, anyway. Battlecruiser M12. Yeah, there's a there's a severe lack of space shooters tonight. I'm sorry, I've let you all down. But we're gonna. What the hell is the ROM name for this game? <laughs> I can't figure out their. Okay, hold on a sec. What was the ROM name for this? B Cruz M12. Couldn't find it. Okay. Uh, what am I looking at? This is a good startup screen. Look, oh, we're, we're doing stuff. Cool. Sigma! Look at that scaling. Beautiful. Ranking nobody. Wait, what? That looked weird. Is the high score screen, like, fucked up? Hey, Sigma88. How's it going? You made this game. I want to see that high score screen again. What was what was that about? What? That can't be right. Why is the why did the logo get split up? Sigma nuts. Okay, let me delete the high scores. Let me that that, that doesn't seem right at all. Maybe something got corrupted.
There we go. Okay, yeah. Yes, I saw the flyer. You guys don't have to bring it up. <laughs> I don't want a generic flyer like that. Okay. Push only one player button. Uh, one button. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Well. Certainly doesn't look like a super high-tech 1983 game, huh? But, whoa! Damn, they all just took off. Alright, well, uh... <laughs> Whoa! Oh, the missiles come back out! Okay. Didn't know that. Good to know. They got me. You got me. I'll give it up. Kill that fish. That shark. Yeah, it's a front-facing boat. It's very, uh... I don't know. It's a little weird. Whoa! Whoa, cool! I didn't see round two when I tested I only played, like, one round of this off-stream. Cool. I, I, I like their necklaces. Ah! You lecture me with your $10 haircut. Alright, um, not doing very well. I think we're gonna have to have another credit. Oh wow, those missiles go really far. Oh. I gotta get maximum bonus. Yeah! Satisfying. Ooh, okay, there. Why is there music now? Wait a minute! That was Rydeen! <laughs> the theme of Super Locomotive, what the fuck? All right, now the the copyright bots on YouTube are gonna are gonna detect that. <laughs> Resembled the melody of of uh, theme of Super Locomotive. Yeah, everybody knows about writing in Super Locomotive, but who knows about writing in in the hit Sigma arcade game Battle Cruiser M12? Hmm? We learned something new today. Ow. Oh, I got a new life. Yeah, check the Jazzrex sticker. <laughs> Is this actually authorized? Ah! Fuck. Hey, six letters. Nice. Oh, we finally got a rub end! I'm home. Get that Dell end shit out of here. We're a rub end house. All right. <laughs> Copyright strikes all over this game. What was that? It was playing. Here comes the sun. Okay. I'm gonna try this again. Now that I, now that I know that those missiles come up and go down. They go up and down. So, uh, this isn't awful. Like, it's... It's playable-ish. I feel like I've played worse. You can fire a few depth charges. Um, it is pretty repetitive, though. Got Rydeen in it for some reason. Copyright 
copyright law isn't real. I don't believe in it. Oh, the shark just shot at me. It's got different backgrounds. Uh, wonder what happens if you shoot all those spike balls. It's got satisfying bonus scenes. There it is, there's the super locomotive. Man, did I even play this far when I played it in Mame Roulette? I must have. I must have gotten past stage one at least. Like I said, I... My my memories of a lot of what happened in Mamer Light are very fuzzy at this point. <laughs> okay, the water depth is, like, deeper here. Or not deeper, but... I'm lower on the screen. Oh, he's out of here. Oh, I missed the 3200. Oh, well. The bombs are very wobbly. I gotta wiggle it just a little bit. Getting better. Get back here. I can't kill this last guy. None of these uh these later backgrounds are as good as that uh, those Moais uh, so far. I like how they all just fucking zoom out of there when the bonus formation shows up. Fuck this, I'm out. Oh wait, is this the first one again? Did we loop? Hmm, that's kind of whack. Oh, got away. I did not kill the underwater super locomotive. Yeah, it's got things going on. You get to fire a few shots at once, so that's that's nice, I guess. <laughs> nice. Yeah, it's okay, but also not anything really special until <laughs> until you hear writing. But it's it's perfectly playable. There's been way too many playable games tonight. What the heck? Maybe 1983 wasn't so bad after all. Okay, well, I'm still in my first, my first life, and I think I've gotten two extras. I almost feel like mercy killing this credit soon. <laughs> What are the extra life thresholds? 
First 30,000, second 60,000. So I assume there's no more after 60. I missed one. Hmm. What's the high score for this on Marp? Oh, I died! Ooh. I'm gonna get to 90,000 at least. Okay, there's no extra life at 90,000. Uh -oh. I will say the whole depth charge system makes it like kind of hard to hit what you want to hit because you just kind of you just kind of spray and pray sometimes. Watch and pray. Whoa, those missiles go really far! Wow. Damn. Game's tired of my shit. Mm, I'm pretty sure they just heard Raiden and felt like putting it in their game. Because games in the early 80s, they, they didn't think copyright law existed, so just, you know. You hear a good song, let's put it in our game. People will recognize it. And they'll... Uh, they'll like it. <laughs> or they'll think we came up with it. Which we totally did not. Well, that enemy's bongo-colored! Aw. Oh. <laughs> I got excited when I saw a bongo-colored enemy. Ow. Alright. Uh, six letters, huh? Yeah, we'll have to see if, like, YouTube actually, like... <laughs> copyright dings me for this. Because <laughs> they detected the one in Super Locomotive. But you hear that a lot more, I guess. Writing composed by the Franz Bleed Band. Goddamn Franz Bleed Band. I can't believe SNK licensed all their music from, from the Franz Bleed Band. Hold on, I want to look up the... Uh... Damn, 498,000? Was the... Uh... Three people broke 400,000 on this. Dang. There's some serious uh, Battlecruiser M12 lore masters out there. Who knew? Alright, well. Like I said, this game is... It's okay. Nothing really special, but, you know. You could put a quarter in it and not feel like you were completely ripped off. You get to be a boat, and you get to shoot stuff. And you get to hear writing. So. What else do you need, really need in life, right? Let's do a poll. Yeah, some more backgrounds would have been nice. Like, like they started like putting in different backgrounds to, for for the sake of variety, and then kind of reached their limit after stage three. Well. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
Damn, that's more threes than I... I was kind of thinking this was going to get more twos. Damn, is, is Big Rydeen influencing everything again? Oops. God damn it! He didn't say anything. Uh, 75% gave us a three. Extra point for writing. Yeah, I didn't. Uh, I didn't dislike it. I could see myself going for a higher score. I was kind of getting. I was kind of feeling like we needed to move on because we'd seen we'd seen everything there was to see. Although going for four hundred thousand would take a would take a while. That would probably take a while. Oh yeah, threes. Seems about right. Sigma, Sigma, Sigma. Okay, I see a... There's a piece by the Green Herring. <laughs> Another uh, another Guzzler Tapper crossover. We're cutting you off. Get out of my bar. Thank you, the Green Heron, for the for the art. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. Uh, it wouldn't stop drinking. All right, so. <laughs> yeah, I guess we're gonna have to do a... Hmm. I do try to keep these games, or not these games. I do try to keep these streams to four hours. So I think we're just gonna do uh we're just going to do two more games. Way less than I wanted to cover tonight, but that's fine. So. We are going to look at a couple... Couple games from a big developer. One game that... Uh, well, I guess, I guess neither of these games got a US release. So again, I will remind everybody that uh, that push to reject is mostly uh, we're mostly focused on on things that are like relatively unknown in the uh, the English speaking scene. I mean, if you uh, there will be like some some Japanese games that get skipped because they were unequivocally big hits and became became very well known, but. Uh, uh, in the case of these games, um, I don't think they're, uh, I don't think they were big, gigantic hits. Some people are going to say, oh, I played this, I played this on the PlayStation, I played the arcade port of this on the PlayStation. As usual. But, again, you probably didn't see an arcade cabinet of it, so it's, uh, it's fair game. So... Couple games by Namco. First game is uh, I think this was like one of the first Namco games that didn't get like any sort of release in the U.S. A little game called Pac-Man. No, Poson. Apparently, they uh, uh, Namco wanted Midway to release this, but they passed. They uh, they didn't think uh. They didn't think it was gonna gonna do that well, and honestly, it probably wouldn't have. The 
Avant-garde concept of the 80s, yes. I think they say some good stuff on the... Uh... Yeah, they have an English flyer and everything. It's beauty and science. Can you visualize the patterns in your mind? This is not a space game, nor is it a character game. It's an entirely revolutionary new game. The avant-garde game of the 80s. Close on. So this game's whole thing is that you have to you have to attach molecules to your your player. You have to you have to match the pattern that's being shown on the uh, in the background. And if you put it if you put them on in the wrong spot, you have to like hit the button to release them and try again. Uh, let's uh, let's let's zoom in a little more. Uh, Alpha rays. When dis when disengaged, atomic will release beta and alpha rays. On the offensive, atomic will disengage itself and release deadly alpha beta rays. The power molecule will appear from world to one. If Kemic picks up a power molecule, he can attack atomic. So yeah, you're being chased by uh, you're being chased by atomic. Who? Uh, it's this thing floating around that shoots other balls at you. As each world and step is entered in the form, the formation will become more difficult. The player must recognize the patterns and duplicate the formation as quickly as possible. Your duty is fulfilled when the formation is complete. So there's three steps in a world. Uh, Kemic has two chances to counterattack. When entering the next stage, when picking up power molecule. Kemic with its connected molecules will gyrate about <laughs> attacking atomic with this alpha and beta rays. And after each world or step three, that challenging stage will appear. Push the release button, the molecules will fire at atomic. Well, did you get all that? <laughs> this game is weird. I've, uh, I, I, I don't think I've ever really been a big fan of this game, but we'll give it another shot. I'm probably gonna die to some dumb shit like right away. Yes, this is not a space game. Not a space game. If you think this is a space game, you can get the fuck out. This is chemistry, beauty, and science. Cool title screen. Oh, they got the Namco number in the high score, 765. Oh, no, wait, that was my score? Oh, I must have done that in Mame Roulette. I probably said, hey, I got the Namco number. Go find the VOD. <laughs> I thought that was the default high score. How did I pull that off? <laughs> First extend to 30,000, second extend 100,000. The 1983 Namco test is not, text is not very well centered. God damn it. Alright. Wipe out. Step one. So we gotta attach these. Uh oh, here comes Atomic. I did it. Boom, 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 boom. Atomic's right on my ass. It said I can attack him at the start of the stage. No, he's popping my boys. There we go. Alright, now we gotta fill in the things on the side. There we go. Shut up, Heidi. <laughs> World one clear. Challenging stage. Okay, we'll just say. Oh, you get. It turns into a space shooter. But this is not space game. Oh, 
No, the boys are escaping. Also, it's got loud all of a sudden. I'm sorry. Oh, it got me. At least you don't die. Alright, Wordle 2. Nope, that's not in the right spot. Oh, I killed it! Oh, wait, no, I didn't kill it. I died. Yeah, the rotating looks good. It is very smooth. Oh my god, you're so slow in this game! It's another one of those shmups where you're too slow. But wait, it's not a shmup. It's not a space game. Don't you ever fucking call this a space game. Good bonus points. Oh god, what the hell? Okay. I'm ready for this pattern. Okay. Nope. Nope. Oh, I broke my... Broke the boys. Okay. No! Oh! Falling into pieces. Leave me alone! <laughs> Alright. Yeah, now that game's tired of my shit. Uh, let me say give you a warning before the thing splits up. There we go. Good. I can kill Atomic when I'm spinning like what? Yeah, I said something about that, but, uh, oh god, uh, what is that? Oh god, uh, okay. I'm trying to figure out this pattern. Oh, when you're, oh, okay, I see. Oh, that thing, okay. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. Well, uh, I just made a mess of this thing. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hot jams? Well... I got 76,000 on this at some point. Uh, how did I do that? Let's try again. Yeah, I, I get the concept of the game, it's just... Uh, it feels like when you get to some of the later stages, like, you... You kind of need to know the pattern ahead of time, so you're not, like, scrambling to... To, like try to piece together what's, uh, what it is in the background. Because the patterns don't change, so... So, you know, it's gonna reward people that, uh, memorize everything. Mortal 3 odd ones, they make you rip off a lot of the ones you picked up. Well, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> well, first I gotta get to World 3. Ah, oh, you fuckers. Yeah, so was midway right to, to pass on this? I think this would have been... Some people would have liked playing it in the arcade, but... Fuck. Reset. Yeah, I can't see this being, uh... 
being like a pole position or Galaga or Dig Dug level hit. It's certainly something original for the time. But is it necessarily fun? <laughs> That's for you to decide. But 1983 was getting to be a very crowded year for for arcades. Oh, I was spinning. I thought I was invincible. I wish your... I wish your ship moved faster. I feel like that might, might have helped things a bit. I'm calling it a ship. It's a, a molecule or whatever. I wish my car moved faster. I wish my air... Oh my god! My airplane died. Yeah, speed up button or something. Something. Anything. Help me out here. It's hard out, out here on these uh, streets. Oh my god. That thing gets to move way faster than me. I'm trying to move out of the way. Shit. That's not the- okay. <laughs> Fuck. Popping off the wrong one. Oh god. Uh, I, I'm running out of time or something. Okay. Uh, take that. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Breaking the boys. Okay, I need to. Shit. <sighs> this is complicated. I'm trying to read... There's, like, a lot of shit to keep track of. Okay, I can attack... I can attack Atomic when this is going on. I'd rather just make the, the thing. Oh, God. Okay. Uh... There we go. No! One more. Hey! World 2 complete. <laughs> You've got extra life noise. I like that. Challenging stage. Welcome to bonus stage! There's another one! I thought it was just one! Oh, I'm not gonna get the perfect now. Womp womp. One short. Okay. That was getting a little different. Another one. I shouldn't have launched that. Yeah, you better run, bitch. Okay. Alright, I 
kind of get it. Oh yeah, I see. They make you shoot this stuff off. Huh. Uh, that's... That's a big fucking upgrade from the last... pattern. I don't want to pick that up. No. This is stressful! Okay. Grab you. Uh, nope. No. I don't find this relaxing at all. I'm fighting for my life here. Okay. Nope. Well, give me that. Yeah, fuck off. Oh, fuck. I didn't want to do that. I hit too many. Broke, broke the boys. Okay. Stage is not cleared. Try again. I ran out of time. Oh. I ran out of juice. So I fired off too many of these. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, there we go. Uh, 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 uh. I need to give you more of a warning before the timer runs out, I think. Putting them in the wrong spot. There we go. Oh my god, this is stressful. I'm, I'm firing off the wrong ones. I'm gonna run out of time again. Who is this game for? <laughs> point where I walk away from the machine. And go play Battle Cruiser M12 instead. You're so slow, that's what makes it so hard to like get the uh, the molecules in the right spot. Cause you can't just like zoom over and get it. Um am I yeah, my tires so I can get it, okay. Damn. Well, I guess I never got past round ten, huh? What is this music? This is the fun funeral march for the molecule? Foes on Crazy Bus crossover? Well, I see what this game is going for. Um... I... don't think it's for me. <laughs> it, would, it would... It would so, so help if you could just move a little faster and lock those... Uh, Lock those things on, like, just, you know, zoom in, get it. But the fact that it doesn't... Uh, makes it way harder to deal with stuff than it should be. 
I am out. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Yeah, multi backing. Hey, thank you for the raid. How's it going? We just got done playing Fozon. We're going to do a poll for this. I'm sure this game has its fans. Present your present your case for Fozon. <laughs> Namco sickos. There, there are definitely people out there. I've I've seen people that that seem to think that 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 Namco can do no wrong. That like every every one of their games is a masterpiece. And uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about I don't know about this one. Yeah. Yeah, There's a lot of threes. Like I can certainly see this getting a three just for the the concept alone. It's looking like 55% uh, gave it a 3. 31% gave it a 2. Six people gave it a 1. That seems pretty pretty rough. I'm not sure this is a 1 bongo game. I can respect what it's going for. It's just be It becomes no fun to play when you get to round 10. That's, that's essentially what it comes down to for me. But... BBH hates video games. He's given this a two. I just, I just don't enjoy it that much. Yeah, I'm anti-science. Science is fake. <laughs> no, I don't know. It's probably one of those games I need to watch like a high-level replay of just to, just to see how they fucking do it. I don't get it. I don't know. I don't know how people how people deal with this. Every, everything's too damn slow. It's a Xevious arrangement problem all over again. All right, I got a couple uh, couple pieces of art to catch up on. <laughs> the tile screen is a four because of the circles spinning around. It is pretty tight. That animation is pretty good. I'll give it up on that. Anyway, thank you, Turborks. Uh, for whoop, hold on. Uh, for for this new nightmare of, of the wolf from Akazukan. I appreciate the comic sans. <laughs> thank you for that. And thank you, Spelunker Man. Oh. Well, rock and rope is not a rock is not supposed to have a K because uh, you know it's the bird, the rock. But <laughs> I know there's a version posted without the uh, without the swear. <laughs> but thank you, Spelunker man. Fuck nature. Shoot all the shoot all the trees. Harass the birds. John Rock and Rope's got stuff to do. <laughs> Thank you for that. Or Prince Orkin, yeah, Splunker Band, Prince Orkin. Yeah, the Rock has no K. Because they were they were trying to do a pun. 
Some people haven't realized that. I should have I should have mentioned that when I was talking about the name of the game. I forgot. All right, I'm gonna do one more game for tonight. Hey, yay, yay. So I've been going back and forth in my uh, been going back and forth in my head on this one as to uh, whether or not it actually uh, it actually counts for the series. But like I said, I. Uh, Seeing how this game didn't get a U.S. release, um, it's pretty much only a only a Japanese release, and uh, some people are very fanatical about this game, and it's gotten it's gotten a handful of ports. It's the one game I haven't submitted for on uh, La Calice Cup Eight yet, because I've been I've been putting it off and putting it off. So I figured we're gonna do this now. <laughs> we might as well do this now. Uh, I need to. I need to resize this. Hold on. Yeah. This is gonna be the wrong size. I'll. I'll fix it. There's the right half. Oh wait, no. This is just the. Uh, oh wait, I have to do that. There we go. Oh, no, it's still not resized right. Yeah, close enough. Yeah, we gotta play Global Rabble. <laughs> and like I said, this game was allegedly pretty popular in in Japan. Some people, some people like this a lot. This game was supposed to be uh, uh, Toru Iwatani's magnum opus. He made Pac-Man. Pac-Man made a shitload of money for Namco, so he was pretty much given free reign to do whatever he wanted. Um, but after, like, he came up with the concept for this, uh, he felt like the game wasn't really working out, and, like, some other programmer took over the, uh, took over the project, and then that programmer just added, like, a whole bunch of extra shit and made the game really fucking complicated, which wasn't because he thought the, the concept was too simple, and, um... So we ended up with one of those games that's got it's got a lot of shit going on, but a lot of it doesn't really uh, uh, you're not really gonna grasp it on first play or ever <laughs> maybe. Okay, where is the uh, hold on? No, I took down half of this. Uh, oh, it's it is okay. Damn it! Come back. Just gotta be all wide and stuff. All right. So here's the thing about this game: it controls with with two sticks. It uses uh, it uses two sticks to move because it's not a typical twin stick game. You're actually moving two characters together, and the whole concept is you have to you have to use the two characters to make like ropes. And then you have to close in the ropes to, to, like, close in enemies, and that kills the enemies. So your brain has to, uh, has to process that you're, you're moving two characters separately. And then put it together, make a, uh, make a box, make a rectangle, kill the enemies. But there's other shit going on, too. There's treasure chests you can find that release, uh, enemies that, uh, you can capture for bonuses. Uh, there's like a whole uh, there's a whole system going on with like plants that are growing in the ground, and if you leave the plants alone, like they they'll drop fruit, and those fruit will give you more time on the stage. Um, <laughs> I definitely am not gonna have explained everything right. Um, I'll make do as best I can. So here's what's gonna happen, I think. This is the last game of the night. After we do the, uh, after we do the rating and all that, um, I might keep playing this for a little bit just because I need to put up a score for this tournament. So we might go a little overtime, but we'll do the, we'll do the rating relatively soonish. Okay, let me pause that. There we go. Yeah, Midway didn't want to release this either. <laughs> they saw this and they're like, nope.
I think they made the right call. Uh, volume's really low. There we go. Boot -a -boot -a -boot -a -boot. Yeah, maybe I can... Maybe I can explain this off the demo. Yo, the demo shows you. So you have to trap all the mushrooms. So to clear the stage, you have to you have to trap all the mushrooms. Also, that high score is fake. I was just fucking around. Should probably get rid of that, but I'll probably beat it anyway. But then you have these other enemies walking around. The enemies can kill you on contact. If they run into either of your markers, they kill you. If you trap them, they get stuck in, in jail for a bit, and then they come out to attack you. Uh, there are these scissors over here. You can kill the scissors, but uh, that usually never happens. The scissors don't kill you, but they cut your line. And then also, like, the devil comes out sometimes and shoots fireballs at you. <laughs> there's, uh, there's a lot of things going on in this game. So if you see a if you see the the screen flash like that, it tells you that the the treasure chest is hidden somewhere. So you just try to you have to make like a two by two thing, and that releases those enemies. And if you can, if, when you kill those, those spell letters. And if you spell the word, you make a miracle happen, and the miracle gives you a bunch of bonus points. Did you understand all that? Does any of this make sense? Damn, push for Alley X. Alright. Let's, uh... Let's get into it. Alright, so they give you a... They give you a practice stage. Make the treasure chest. There we go. So I'm controlling the, the red with the left stick, the blue with the right stick. And the first two stages, I'll actually show you where the uh, uh, the treasure is. So I'm just gonna go for it right away. Okay, how do I do this? I need to like do this. Ah, I missed missed a couple. Okay. Oh no, the devil came out. Uh, okay. Got him. All right. Well, I missed the miracle, so I have to. I gotta kill all the mushrooms now. See, maybe this game is is obscure enough if people don't know the uh, the source of this the, of the Retro Pals theme on Wednesdays. <laughs> oh god, I'm already god. This game takes so much fucking concentration. Yeah, the mushrooms don't kill you, but the bigger enemies do. Oop. The scissors don't kill you, surprisingly. Oh god, we're stuck. We're stuck. Uh oh, I ran. I ran out of time. I'm dead. Okay, let's just kill that last enemy. Uh-oh. Come on. There we go. And that clears the stage. I'm supposed to be spelling flower. We're gonna try this again. We're gonna try to get the miracle. Uh-oh. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, oh. I need to do this. I fucked up. Wait. Ah, I fucked up. Alright, so there's like some, yeah, some seeds are like growing plants on the ground. Uh, but I guess plants are less likely to grow if you're like, if you're fucking up the ground. So you don't want to be like always making like big, big boxes like that. Oh! Uh, oh, I'm out of time. Gotta go. I shouldn't have picked up those items. Yeah, you get time back when you pick up fruit, and if the time, if you fill up the timer, you become invincible for a little bit. Okay, so now I don't know where the uh, the treasure chest is. So I gotta make boxes, and if the uh, the screen turns purple, not here. 
try over here. Still haven't found it yet. I'm gonna go for these. Extra time. Hey, I'm invincible. Okay, it's in there somewhere. Shit. Okay, let's try this. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I'm out of time. I can't control this! Where is that fucking treasure chest? No, Mom, I don't want to go to school. Alright, never mind. We just gotta clear the stage. <laughs> yeah, I know it's in there somewhere. So now I've totally fucked up the ground and plants can't grow. Oh no, the devils! Oh, the scissors broke it. Ooh, it's in there somewhere. Okay. Uh. No, oh, fuck. No, no, no! Trap the devil. There we go. Ow. Oh, I got a free life. I got a couple free lives, actually. Okay. I still haven't found the uh, treasure chest yet. It's probably down here. Oh, fuck. I... <laughs> I'm so bad at controlling two, two things at once. Okay, it's in there somewhere. Where the fuck is it? There it is. Ah, come on! Ah, I can't spell flower. Okay. No miracles for me. Oh, I got a ring. So that's another problem I've heard with this game. Uh, the bonuses are random. So there's a lot of disparity between scores. in there somewhere. I'm gonna try right here. Nope, that's not it. Ah! Okay, I was... I was trying to make a box to get the, uh... the thing. Alright, well that... Oh, also! You don't get on the high scores if you don't make a single miracle. For whatever reason, uh... If you never if you never get the miracle by catching all the enemies that come out of the treasure chest, the game just straight up does not let you put your name in. <laughs> this game is is operating on an entirely different brain level than than you and I can comprehend. Yeah, I think Midway was right to pass on this. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. I have to get a miracle. I know how to do the tutorial. So I think the thing I learned is that like you have to have like very specific placement of the markers to get like the uh, to get the miracle. Like you want to like put put the blue one. What is this guy doing? Get the fuck out! Why is he? Okay, he's hanging out there. I can't I can't deal with this. Reset. <laughs> he wouldn't get out of the way. Why is this our theme intro? Because Danny likes Technic Beat. And the remix was from Technic Beat, so. Okay, let's try this again. Is this gonna... Ah, I didn't see the enemy! I can't fucking keep track of everything going on in this fucking game. Once I start trying for the miracle, I, I, I lose sight of the enemies. 
Why was the d ah, I, I missed it. Okay. <laughs> Fuck. I can't even get the first miracle. <laughs> I can't fucking do this shit. Once the markers get crisscrossed, I completely lose sight of what I'm supposed to do. Okay. Go along like that. Oh, I didn't do it right. I didn't do it right! I, I can't fucking do this. Okay. Somehow I got it wrong. I need to get one miracle. Okay. Nope, scissor. Let the scissor do its thing. Okay, put you right here. Go around. Like that. Ugh, ah, one got out! Fuck. I almost got it. I got five of the six. Oh no, I got four of the six. Damn. Alright. This game is fucking impossible. <laughs> no, I gotta try to clear the level now. Yeah, this game... <laughs> ah, shit! Okay. Oh, they give me another chance. Uh, can I do this? Oh, God. I... Uh, I can't control this. Oh, we got it. Nice. I finally did a miracle. It's a miracle. It's a miracle. It's a miracle. Put flowers everywhere. And now you get a bonus stage. I right, catch all that. I don't have much time for this. I gotta, I gotta fucking book it. Give him a double. So again, the prizes you can get here are random. Uh oh, I'm out of time. Ooh, I got the 60,000! Let's go! And a 20,000. Sick. Okay. Like I said, the first two stages, they'll, they'll tell you where the, the treasures are. So, getting the... Oh, he cut my shit. Um, getting the first two miracles is pretty doable, but after that, you're... You kind of have to find them yourself. Okay. This. Ooh, I got it! No, I didn't get it! No, no! Get back here, you! You piece of shit! No, no! Oh, so close. Rambo. Okay. I thought I had it. So now I have to find a another. <laughs> I gotta find a treasure chest on the next side. I'm out of time. No, oh, the devil. I don't know why you get high score jump scared every time you die. I never understood that. I got a flower growing over there. Cool. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh god, I lost sight of which one I am. No! Yeah, the timer's a glowy thing around the border, but then, like, when it runs out, it does, like, something else? I don't know. Alright. So from stage three on, you don't know where the treasure chest is. It's in there somewhere. Alright, process of elimination. 
Found it. No, we got out. Did I get the letter? Of course not. <laughs> Damn it! I found the treasure chest and everything. Alright, well, uh. Back to getting no points, I guess. Boys together. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, that sucks. I got like a, I got a sixty thousand bonus in the, uh, in the miracle screen. So it would have been a. Oops. It would have been high scoring if I actually got the. Uh, the second one. Uh, I got one miracle, so I'm actually on the uh, I'm actually on the board now. All right. Well, what do we think about this 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 game from another dimension? I mean, it's it's original. It's. There's certainly nothing that plays quite like it. Is that necessarily a good thing, though? Uh, you be the judge. Well, we're gonna do a we're gonna do a poll. The final poll of the night. I, 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 at this point, I don't know what the hell to give this. <laughs> it's so fucking stressful. Namco is just making stressful shit in 83. Also, yeah, not even, like, taking into account the, uh, the whole miracle system. When you actually get the miracle, and you have to, like, find the, the treasures afterwards... They can be worth anywhere from like four thousand to sixty thousand, and like sometimes you're just gonna get nothing but mirrors and get nothing but four thousands. So if you get lucky, you get like a sixty thousand. Like what? <laughs> yeah, maybe the concept is is okay. It's just, or the concepts in general of all the things you have to do. It's just having to control two things at once is fucking weird as shit. And I, I can't get used to it. And that's what fucking kills me. Every time. Anyway. 48% gave us a 3. 34% gave it a 4. That's that's relatively close. Like, that's pretty... That's pretty damn close. Ah, uh, but what is... What is BBH's verdict? <laughs> Well, there, there's a reason this has been, like, the last game I, I just haven't submitted on for this for this damn tournament, because I just didn't want to play it. Because <laughs> I didn't want to deal with having to, having to figure out all this miracle shit. So... I'm not giving it a one, but like, <laughs> O5 Pro is gonna hate me for this. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I kind of think it's a two. I, 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 I can't wrap my head around what I have to, how to control this shit. Like once the, uh, once the markers get split up, like I. I'm, I'm just completely lost. Skill issue? Maybe. But, like... I just don't... <laughs> I just don't get this game. And unfortunately, I gotta keep playing it now, because I, I want to get, like, at least two miracles.
Maybe H is a dumbass. <laughs> Skill issue? Too dumb to understand this game? Narcissist that laughs at his own jokes? The crimes never end with Lord BBH. Anyway, that's gonna... Uh, that's gonna do it for Push to Reject. I'm gonna be on for... Uh, just a little longer until I get this double, uh... Until I get a double miracle, at least. That's my goal. So we're gonna... Uh, I think we'll just sw switch scenes, right? At the very least, I have a, a one miracle score. Oh, yeah, there's, uh, there's art. Hold on. I can't say bye yet. Thank you, Chuba. <laughs> Thank you for the reminder. <laughs> like the butthead moy. <laughs> Thank you for the Battle Cruiser M12 art. Boat games, woohoo! <laughs> Space games, guys, never should have gotten in that boat. Oh, yeah, the liberal rabble community is going to have my fucking head on a pike. I apologize for nothing. Who drew that? That was Chubo. Chuba does a lot of fun art for the stream. He does art on his stream sometimes, too. Y'all should be following him if you, aren't, uh, if you aren't following him already. Anyway. Like I said, that's, uh, that's the last game we're raiding. I'm just going to play this just a little longer just to see if I can get a... If I can get a double miracle... So I can put up uh, the last of my, my placeholder scores for this fucking tournament. Let me, uh, let me switch scenes. There we go. Now my webcam is reversed. Also, my joystick thing isn't going to work because I'm not playing on joystick right now. Current game, Xevious Arrangement. That's not right. Because, yeah, the way the way scoring is working for this tournament, you can see in, like, the uh, the recent scores, like, somebody submitted, like, a 4.2 million. We're just counting miracles as 1 million. Because uh, we want to, like, uh, incentivize getting the miracles. Instead of, like, trying to... I, I guess there's, like, ways to leech in this game. Or something. Man, I'm down to 22nd in Metal Black. It's really sad when you have a 1cc on something and then you're in 22nd place. <laughs> Alright. Let's get a... Let's get a 2 Miracle score. That's all I want. Good. I want to change the stream title? Eh. I don't think I'll be at this for that long. Uh, how do I do this? I'm gonna do it like this. Is that even gonna count? Oh, not anymore. Fucking scissors. Okay. Reset. The dick snipper. Mickey's Dick Smasher. Okay, let's, let's put it right here. That didn't count? Oh my god. Gotta put it right here then? 
That's not gonna work. Wait, maybe it will. Did I get them all? Yeah! Alright, so far so good. Oh, we got to the top ten on Gigaway? Nice. Yeah, stage six is a... Uh... Oh god, I wasn't paying attention. I think it's all at the top. A lot of, a lot of stuff to learn for that, that stage six boss. Okay, they're like all at the top here. That didn't count. Shit. I'm running out of time. Oh, do I have to go all the way up? Ah. Fucking mirrors! At least I got a 20,000. And a 10,000, okay. Okay. This game is stressful. Damn it! Okay. What? What? It's still over here, right? Dick Snipper. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. No! The fucking enemy was right there. All right. I have another chance. This might be good. This might be good. Yeah. All right, I got the double miracle. No, I didn't. Fuck. <laughs> How'd that guy get out? All right. Uh, where should we start? Cause you gotta set up the markers in like a certain way to like get everything when it comes out of the treasure chest. That's the part I don't like. Might as well just fucking restart. This is already a... yeah. This is already a lower score than the other one. I already lost too many lives. Okay. Snipper. I got a better fucking count. Flowers. Double mirror. Oh, I got the, the lanterns. Nice. Yeah, it's gonna put rainbows on the screen if I can get the second one. Hey, right in the starting point. Nice. Okay. No, they got out. How'd they get out? Hey, another try. Let's go. How am I gonna do this? Uh, like that? That didn't count. Uh, wrong way, wrong way. Ah, oh, fuck! 
The devil scared me. I ran into the other enemy. Okay. Got jump scared by the devil. What the hell? I can't trap shit. Oh good, another mirror. I'm so happy. If I don't get the miracle on stage 2, I'm just gonna reset. Because <laughs> I can't, uh... You have to search for it from sa stage 3 on. I'm sorry, season 3 on. Uh, I don't know what the miracle enemies are called. I don't know what any of the enemies are called in this game. Why'd he come down? Okay, I can't fucking... <sighs> can't do anything. Like, I get so fixated on going for the treasure, I can't pay attention to the enemies. Just... Uh, your brain has to has to be able to keep track of a lot of different things going on at once. I thought he was going to go the other way. I don't know why. How did you get out, you fucking butt knocker? Get his ass! Ow. Oh. I'm doing something wrong with the, uh, the pattern. This game has plot? This game has lore? Uh, where do I need to put this? Right, right here? Oh, that's, that's not gonna reach. Nope, 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 nope. Brrr! God, I just want to get... I want a double miracle score, and then I, I don't want to play this again. <laughs> Whatever my final score is in, in this for the tournament, I'm just going to accept it. Like, alright, that's fine. This game just ain't for me. I like twin stick games where you get to shoot people. There we go. I mean the whole the whole concept of like finding the treasure chest is kind of interesting. It'd probably be more interesting than a game with with a control scheme that didn't take a second brain. Oh boy, a mirror! A mirror! Two more mirrors! Yeah, let's go! Another one! Give me the lowest score possible. There's the last one. Yeah, everything gets improved when you give them a gun. You give 1P Bub a gun. Now you're cooking. Honeycomb mascot, guys. We all love the taste of honeycomb! You. Yeah. Uh-oh, that's not good. Fuck, really? 
Okay, if I let them go and then die, I think I get another chance. That's probably better than, like, actually doing this stage. Oh, they don't tell me where it is. I'm sorry, Hokuto. I guess this stream is a sham. Okay. Shit. I'm on the wrong side. No. Okay. The dick snipper. Am I even gonna be able to get these? How did you get out? I had a, a fucking rope there. I don't fucking get this game. How did you break my rope? I got stuck in the wrong peg. Okay, I, everything I thought I understood about this game, I actually don't. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, if I do this... Actually, I don't know if that's going to work. The dick snipper! Oh my god. Come on, move out of the fucking way. Oh, that didn't count. Okay. Dick Snipper keeps getting in the way. There we go. I'll take the I'll take the death. It's fine. All right, let's get a let's get a sixty thousand point thing. Oh, I don't like this pattern. A necklace. 8,000. A mirror. Another mirror. I don't remember where the other ones are. No, well, that's not a good score. <laughs> that's alright, we just have to get a second miracle. Oh no, 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 no. Oh shit. Come on. No, he got out, of course. Okay, well. No, two of them got out. Alright, fuck it. Oh, bonus time. So now we don't have uh, oh we don't have uh oh double double dick scissors 
We gotta find the treasure. Oops. Not in there. How about up here? Not in there. Oh, I didn't see the... Eventually the enemies start chasing you. They get, like, angry faces. You know, just another thing you have to pay attention to. Because there's, there's just not enough things going on in this game, I think. Mm, I don't know where this thing is. Top right corner, maybe? How many spots are left? There's the devil. Nothing flashed purple. <laughs> Can't find shit. Alright, better luck next stage, I guess. Except I don't know how to do these stages where, like, half the pegs are missing. Alright, I'll start here. It's in there somewhere. Not there. That one at the bottom. Is that the... Nope. Damn it, why are they chasing me? No, leave me alone. Okay, well, I have another chance, I guess. They moved the location. I think they move it. No, it's back over here. Okay. Maybe it's in the same spot. Uh-oh. You're being chased. No? What the fuck is it? There it is. I'm going the wrong way! Once the markers get... Oh, no. Once the markers get separated, I I forget which one is which. Man. I don't care. Inscrutable game for aliens. The original concept for this game was supposed to be, like, pretty simple, and then, like, the developer that, like, took over the project just, just decided to make it more and more complicated, and... Oop, I missed. I think I hit the service mode button. Okay, now we're good. A lot of these ideas were a little too much. Nobody was going to tell them no, I guess. Get out of my face. Why did... Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing something wrong with, like, the, uh, the pegs. check something. Because apparently I'm... 
I'm not combining them properly. Man, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I just want to get a, a two miracle clear. That's, that's, that's my goal. Just give me the two freebies and stay true, and I'm out. I'm out like the goat. Why is that enemy there? Stay away from my treasure. <laughs> I ran right into it. Cool. Great game. Like, if they, if they didn't make these miracles so important, like, maybe the game would be more enjoyable. The fact that this is so important for the scoring system, because otherwise it's too random. Uh-oh. Hey, and I got the devil. Wait, what? No! Oh my god! Gotcha, bitch! Get fucked. Yeah, it's Little Rebel. Everybody's favorite Namco game. A game with zero flaws. Oh, whenever I get my double miracle score, I'm not playing this anymore. I can tell you that right now. Star. There was one at the top, and I didn't get it. Is it here? No. Yep. Look at all them mirrors. All them mirrors. Okay. Uh, whoa, oh, shit. I lost it. Ah! No, I'm stuck. Okay. Is it right? Get out of there. Dick scissor. <sighs> that wasn't it. Uh, oh, no, they're, they're pissed. They're pissed. Oh, I'm so fucked. Okay, well, I lost sight of where it was. And now the, the fireball things are out. That's great. There it is. Motherfucker! Okay, this, this might re-roll it. No, same place. Okay, something like this. Dick scissor! Motherfucker. Alright, well, at least there's plenty of flowers over there. Whatever that's worth. I can, like, try to become invincible on the next stage. If I fucking make it to the next stage.
I shouldn't have gotten those. Those, those are extra time. Alright, let's... Let's find the, the treasure chest. It's in there somewhere. Is it this section? No. So it might be right here. Yes. No! Wait, is that the is that the one I missed? Ooh, let's go! Look at these shitty rainbows. Ooh, a triple up there, nice. Can't wait to get three mirrors. <laughs> okay, the last one's like over here. Well, there's another one on the other side, but I'm not gonna have enough time. Maybe? No. Alright. Look at all those mirrors. This is going to be a low-scoring double miracle. Oh shit! First try, you did dick! Well, now I'm invincible. Maybe that was a bit of a waste. Damn, I wasn't expecting to find it on the first try. Alright. Scissor. Let's take out this entire side. Yep. Bit a bit a bit a bit a bit a bit a bit. Is it right here? No, the devil's here though. What? Why didn't that count? Be gone, devil. Uh oh. I'm being chased. Somewhere in that column on the right. I think. Like right here? Oh, dick scissors. No. Down here? No. Being chased. There it is. Except I'm gonna die. And of course, those were the, the letters I already got. Alright, let's just... Well... I say, let's, let's clear the stage out, but... Uh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Who cares? Scissors. I'm glad the scissors don't kill you. I guess I figured that was a little too bullshit. <laughs> Somewhere in there! No problem. Funny thing is, that was lower than my one miracle score, but for the, uh, 
It, it counts higher in the in the high scores. Completely normal game. No, number of miracles takes priority. That, those are those little stars on the high score screen. How many miracles you got? It's really fucked up. You need at least one just to get on the high scores. But why, though? Who knows? Who knows? Alright, so 2,143,140. Which would put me at the uh, 19th place? Oh, okay. All right. I'll submit that. <laughs> yeah, that's that's all I wanted. I wanted to get a double miracle. So my last score is finally in the finally on the books. I'm in sixth place overall. Um I don't think I'm gonna I don't know if I'm gonna be able to push it much higher than that, but I gotta, I gotta up some scores at some point. Oh god, the bonus letters! Oh no, <laughs> it's supposed to be like jewels, but yeah. <laughs> Damn, level Ravel. <laughs> It's fucked up. Um, am I gonna try to push the giggling score? Maybe. Uh, I do want to get a better. I do want to get like at least eighty trillion. Um, I'm probably gonna have to uh, uh, do some routing on the later stages because I, I I really fucked up on the stage four boss last time. Like I need to farm that better. Cause like as far as my as far as my scores in this tournament go, uh, level rabble I'm never playing again in my life. Zevius I should not be a number one. Somebody's got somebody's got to knock me out of that. I shouldn't be number one in that. And I feel like I can do better too, which is the worst part. <laughs> uh, Scramble spirits I'm definitely not playing again. Strikers 1945. I mean I I cleared a loop. I got pretty far on on two one. That'll probably fall. Uh, I, I I might try for better. War of Arrow. I, I really don't want to play it. <laughs> I really don't want to play War of Arrow anymore. Moochie Moochie Pork. I definitely have to play Moochie Moochie Pork. I feel like I can do better than that. I haven't. I didn't route like shit after stage two. I was just like playing it by playing it by ear the, the entire time. Uh, Metal Black. I guess I have to sit down and like just figure out the all the boss milking for Metal Black because it seems really weird. <laughs> it's really fucking sad that I <laughs> I I got a one CC on it and I have like the lowest one CC I think or no it's like second lowest. <clears throat> like it's really funny when you have a one CC on a game and you're just like you're in twenty second place. Like that seems. That seems wrong. That seems weird. I don't know. That's really fucking weird. Uh, Mr. Driller. I'm definitely playing more Mr. Driller. I'm I'm falling really fast in Mr. Driller. G. I got to play more of that. Dynamite Duke. I definitely need to get the one CC on. Uh, that might be my that might be my next project. 
for for Wednesday. Okay, I spelled a different word in the demo this time. It it didn't spell the <laughs> the other word. <laughs> God damn, Namco. All right, well, let me find somebody to host. I think I'm going to call it there. I still think this is a two-bongo game. I haven't changed my mind on that. There's... There's too much shit going on in this game, and I can't... Uh, my brain isn't galaxy-sized enough to handle the control scheme. Like, I get why some people might like it, but oh, it's just not for me. It has nice music, but... It's just not something I want to play. Anywho, I will be back on. Uh, I will be back on Wednesday, most likely, to do some more, uh, some more scores for this. Uh, yeah, probably gonna, probably gonna go for that Dynamite Duke One CC next, because I wanna, I wanna get a better score than that. Um, and then yeah, Thursday will probably be. Uh, more retro chivos, you know the drill. <laughs> yeah, it's this uh I'll I'll tweet the or I'll link the the web page. That's where all the scores and shit are. Anyway, uh, I'll, I'll host Liz Star. She's been streaming for like seven hours. She's probably about to stop, but I feel like I haven't rated her in a while. Um, yeah, I'll catch y'all catch y'all on Wednesday. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for uh, thanks for watching arcade games, and I will see you next. Take it easy, everybody. Congratulations, you won. You finally killed the superior. We try again. Bye-bye.